Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and in this video I am making a fairy house. So, um, let's get started. Um, I'm, I kind of have a rough plan. I mean, obviously the structure of it is already more or less planned out. Um, and so, like, we have this to go off of. And I'm planning on using way less polymer clay than what I usually do. Like, I don't even know if I'm going to bake this one. I think I'm just going to do, like, painting and gluing stuff on it and different things. Hey, Christy! How's it going? <laughs> but I got this at Hobby Lobby. It was, like, 50% off, so the normal price of $6.99 was 50% off. So that was pretty nice. Um, and I feel like at that point, um, it's using way less um, clay. You know, because, like, I'd probably use more than $3 worth of clay just to sculpt this. <laughs> oh, I'm glad to hear you're doing well, Christy. Okay. And my computer's updating. So, I'm just going to flip the camera around. I'm really enjoying our new craft room setup, too. So, just let me know if, if the, you know, to make sure that the camera angles are pretty good. I have my hot glue gun heating up. <laughs> Excuse me. And the paints that I'm going to be using today are warm white taupe which is a nice, like, uh, metallic, wrought iron, and coffee bean colored enamel. And this one is a brand new bottle. I haven't actually opened it yet, so. So I'm actually going to go through and do some base colors of paint. Um, to start with, <clears throat> that way um, we can decide from there what we're going to do with it. So let me grab a piece of cardboard. Making a mess. Keep my work surface nice and clean. Yeah, this is a cutout that comes in my blue apron boxes that I get every month. So it's like perfectly sized for um, like taping watercolor paper to and using as just a, a surface. So I think I want to start with the coffee bean. There we go. And for, I'm doing just some broad strokes here. So I have a, uh, Size 22 angle brush. It's almost an inch wide, I think. So I'm just going to take this and start laying in some paint. Because I think um, one of my friends here on YouTube sent me a, uh, a nice box of pine cones. So I think on this one I'm going to do pine cones. Hey Betsy, how's it going? How's the stream quality going for you guys today? And also, am I on my channel or Randy's channel? I have no idea. <laughs> so, <laughs> very clear. Excellent. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, good, your channel. Thank you, Christy. Because <laughs> it's, it's a little late in the day to be getting a start, but Randy and I just had breakfast. Um, and so we're still sitting down to, uh, like, I'm still finishing my first cup of coffee and everything, so. <laughs> there we go. And I'm really liking this enamel because it's a little bit more translucent. Hey, Spooky Kitty. How are you doing today? 
Oops, and I keep tangling around the uh, wire. I'm charging up Randy's phone while we stream. <clears throat> I fired my first polymer clay the other day, and not all of it fired completely. Any suggestions? Hey, Lori. Um, well, Betsy, uh, what what brand clay were you using, and what temperature did you bake at, and how long did you bake it for, first off? Just to give me a frame of reference. <laughs> ah, I'm so glad you caught me on your lunch break. <laughs> Says the rooster outside. Several different brands at 250 for 15 minutes. Okay, um <clears throat> normally, sorry, I'm, my throat's still waking up. Normally I bake my clay for about 45 minutes. Um, I might do it 15 minutes at a time if it's something like a large sculpt, like a fairy house, and I want different pieces of it to be um, solid so that I can, you know, go through and sculpt back on top of them. But I usually try to do the whole thing cumulatively for at least 45 minutes, if that makes sense. <clears throat> so that might have something to do with it. And you should be okay to, uh, unless you've glazed it or something already, you should be okay to go ahead and um, just put it back in the oven. Oh, okay. Oh, no. So did it, like, break apart and stuff? <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Betsy. It's kind of the worst whenever that happens, like, but you learn, though. However unpleasant of a lesson it may be, you still, now you know better for next time. <laughs> hey wasted yeah it's um i don't know what's up with uh youtube but it's um i did one whole like five minute live stream and not a single person showed up which is very irregular so um i actually restarted and uh so it's, I don't know if my YouTube's being weird or what, but I'm here for you guys. <laughs> I never knew about the first one either. Notifications are just not working today. Okay. Well, shoot. Hmm. I didn't get a notification, just went to the homepage and saw you were live. Right on. Well, I guess I need to share this on Facebook or something to let people know what's up. But I'm just going to focus on hanging out with y'all and painting this fairy house. Because this house is actually going to be the giveaway for November 1st. Which I think is going to be a lot of fun. Um, this one, it's going to be kind of just fairy garden themed. Um, <clears throat> there were a couple of elements that I wanted to, that, to accomplish with it. And that's, um, a, uh, pine cone shingle roof. And then I think I'm going to do the gazebo part in like, um, a warm white, make it look like, you know, maybe a little bit of a cottage gazebo or something.
So I think it's going to be pretty neat. Hey, buttons. Not a whole lot. Just like 10 minutes worth. Yeah, someone was saying that um, notifications aren't working today. A few folks were saying that. Um, so I'm glad you were able to make it in. Ah. <laughs> and y'all, it's actually the first kind of chilly day of fall. So these are acrylic paints. I'm using, right now I'm painting with coffee bean enamel, which I like because it's just a little bit more translucent um, than just the straight um, clay, or not clay, acrylic. Ah! Melissa says, so mad I've been waiting for two hours and no notification, but I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, fortunately, I've only been streaming for like 10 minutes. I kind of feel like YouTube needs to get their act together uh, and let people know whenever people get online. I'm just saying, YouTube. Because <laughs> not going to lie, my frail and fragile ego was like, I guess nobody likes me anymore. Oh, well. <laughs> because I did one, like, five-minute long live stream and not a soul showed up. But I was like, is it set on private? Like, I don't have anybody to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> oh no well I did intend on getting on because Melissa says I forgot about the time zone difference I did intend to get on at about 10 in the morning but I didn't wake up till 10 30 um <laughs> which made it kind of hard um and then it's a really nice cool day outside so I was like I'm gonna go hang out with my chickens so I hung out with my chickens for a minute and fed and watered all my bunnies um, and then we had Thai basil, uh, eggs and rice for breakfast, which was super yummy. And then we just now like, you know, 10, 15 minutes ago, you got her. I did. Nine. Yeah. I had, an, I had an alarm set for nine, but we left our phones downstairs. Um, <laughs> Hey Randy, hey, while you're on my phone over there, could you sh share my, uh, YouTube link for this, uh, live stream? onto Facebook to let people know. I could, but I'd also like to just do that on my Facebook. Oh. Could you do it on both of our Facebooks? Yeah, it means I gotta log out. I don't know how to copy and paste on your phone. Oh. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> I love to put it in lemonade. Ooh, Thai basil is so good though, right? I've never thought about trying it in lemonade. What am I moving over to upload? Crystal pendant? Hmm? Am I moving your civil? So, so? No, the, the Wonder Woman. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a base from Hobby Lobby. It was, I actually couldn't get the tag off, so. Did it get finished? What's that? Oh. It should be under finished videos, Randy. Um, I couldn't get all the tag off, so I'm painting over it. Um, but I got it from Hobby Lobby. It's normally like six ninety nine. dollars um, It was 50% off, though. And so, um, I got it for like three and a half dollars, which is pretty sweet because this is way more than three and a half dollars worth of clay. Plus I didn't have to put in the time to actually make the base. So I can actually do this one. I miss our Michaels. They closed down right on. Oh, I would be devastated if we didn't have, cause it's like, I really prefer Michaels to Hobby Lobby, um, typically, but in Joplin, uh, where we go, because that's where there's the Joann's and the Michaels and the Hobby Lobby and the Sam's Club and stuff. Um, the Michaels here is just not that good. Um, like, Hobby Lobby has a way better selection of paints and of paintbrushes and of canvases. Um, and I'm like, sorry guys, selection wins out. But I'm doing this one as I think I might end up not using any polymer clay on it at all. I don't know yet. Don't quote me on that. But it's because I'm doing the uh, pine cone shingle roof. And I really don't want to bake the pine cones. <laughs> Shannon says notification just posted. 
Oh, goodness. Hey, Twisted Eds. Hey, Lee. Yay, live stream. Yep, just got the notification. <laughs> oh, I was gonna study, but then I got the notification for this. Yay for procrastination. Procrastinators unite. Woo! <laughs> so now I have to wait for this to dry. Um... Took wow. five to eat something. This is new. What's up? I can't tag you. Oh, really? Uh-huh. There you go. <laughs> wow, that took forever. Okay, rinsing out my brush. So since everybody just got in here, I'm going to flip the camera around and say, hey, while this paint dries, if I can figure out how to loosen up my tripod. Morning, Mikio. Morning, everybody. I hope all of my friends... Oh, God, my hair. Don't look at me. <laughs> Don't look. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> but definitely morning hair. Um, slept on it after the shower. So check out these wild mutton chops, though, you guys. This is gonna be this is gonna be a new look, like trending now. <laughs> but um, the craft room's done and remessed up, all in a day's work, or actually like three days' work. Um, but still. Oh my god, I can't believe it. it's 12.13 in my time zone, um, and I'm just now getting my button to gear, like, really, Vaughn? <laughs> oh, well, thanks, Wasted. <laughs> hey, Vaughn, is it okay if I post my channel here, or will it not let me do it? You can try Twisted Ed, but also people can just click on your name and then be like, hey, that's his channel or her channel or, you know... <laughs> That, that is their channel. What did you say, Randy? That's exactly what I said. That is their no, channel. No, before that. Uh, your video is uploading. Oh, thank you. So I have to wait for this paint to dry. My Google name changed out right on. Me too, very slow today. Well, it's like I woke up super early, like before the sun, um, like was up all the way. It took the neighbor's rooster crowing his butt off. Um, <laughs> and so I was like... Because he was in our yard for, like, a few days. Um, and... Well, I mean, Poppy's here, can you blame Yeah, well, we've got some good-looking girl chickens, so... <laughs> hey, Kara. Have you ever made a fursona? Not a fleshed-out one, but I think I would be a cave otter, which is, like, kind of mythical creature. But anyways, hola. <laughs> it's still morning here in San Diego. I have to say, I hope everybody in California is surviving okay the uh, the fires out that way. Like, we were watching some news articles and stuff on it, and it's like, that's kind of rough. So, I can't even begin to imagine um, how hard that is for you guys. Kikers asks, hey, I've got a question. How do you feel about pleather? I bought some a while ago. Because it's cheaper. It's really hard to work with, but I don't want to waste it. Um, pleather has a time and a place. It's not perfect for all things, but for, like, garment leather, um, it, it's a good replacement for garment leather. You okay, honey? Uh-huh. What's up? Oh, someone just told somebody. On your game? Uh-huh. Right on. <laughs> Morning, Sandy. Hey, Derby. <laughs> Right on. Well, studying is more important. I'll be here when you're when you're done, Derby. I totally forget what I was talking about. What do you think a sloth and a mix? What do you think a sloth and a wolf mixed would look like? I don't know who rolled higher. Like, would it be more sloth or more wolf? Would it be ground dwelling or tree dwelling? Like, these are the things we need to ask ourselves. But we can at least think that, like, the regular wolf fur would have that, like, algae that lives in the uh, sloth fur, which I think is super cool. So it's like, I don't know, I like thinking about stuff like that. Um, and then, like, would, the, uh, would it have, like, a snubbed up wolf sloth nose? <laughs> morning, Dorothy. It's six in the morning there. Ugh. On Wednesday, what day is it? It's Tuesday here. <laughs> You're from the future, Dorothy. <laughs> Ooh, coffee. I'm at work doing tow truck quarterly report. Glad you have something fun to watch. <laughs> right on. Good morning, Shelly. Oh. Mm. 
it is the first, it is officially the first day of autumn here. Not like officially, officially, but it was cold enough for me to steal a pair of Randy's sweatpants and I was wearing my monster house shoes, but they got too warm because like we ate like a really good breakfast of like Thai basil, eggs and rice and it was all fresh off the stove and just, it heats you up from the inside, that's for sure. Ooh, aw. <laughs> Melissa said, oh my god, I forgot I went to Renfest and got a leather underbust corset. It made me wish you had more time for orders. I wish so too. <laughs> I got cold in my craft room last night because I forgot to close the window. Yeah, we've got the windows wide open. I'm so tired of it being hot. And I'm like, uh, open up all the windows, let the cold air in. <laughs> yeah, it was raining pretty hard. Yeah. For like an hour last night. Yeah. I think that's what got me in the sleeping mood. Yes, we went to bed early last night and everything. Oh, goodness. And then, okay, so is this paint dry yet? No. Okay, I've got like four more minutes of jabbering before I can get back to work. Um, Yo, okay. Melissa, do what? No. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Melissa says there's so much more flow in your craft room. You could almost do poi in there. I know. And it's like whenever we don't have this table set up, there's actually enough room for me to hoop dance. But you'll be so pleased, you guys. We only have one table left in the living room, and that's the one with the ringinator on it. And then waiting for paint to dry, <laughs> right? Um, and then we've got a couple more totes and bins in the kitchen. So when do we get a hoop video again? Hopefully soon. Um, yeah, we could go for a tour. Do you want Randy? Do you guys want a hoop video? Yeah, Randy once said, do you guys want a hoop video? Because I'll do whatever you guys want. <laughs> so, but before I take you guys on a tour, I have to tell you, hey, Nicole, um, yesterday was officially my day one of doing the full workout with Body Boss, and it kicked my butt. Oh, my God. In my whole life, I have never had such pain in my hip flexors. Like, it's not a joint thing. It's just the muscles are, like, shredded. And I'm like, oh, God, I'm so out of shape. <laughs> so, um... Oh, well, thanks, Christy. Is it? It's Kirsty. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so tour time, guys. So y'all saw what the craft room used to used to do. Used to look like. Oh God, more coffee. Give me a minute, guys. Words are hard. <laughs> An underbust corset is called a dirndl, by the way. That's really good to know, Shelley. Hey Chris, how's it going? Okay, tour time. Tour time. Okay. This is the neighbor's chicken. So, oh God, my heels. Um, this is the living room now. I never put my yoga mat away because I'm lazy. Um, our next step is we're going to be actually taking this love seat, which is clearly a cat doll. Um, upstairs into Randy's studio. That way we have someplace comfortable to sit up there. Um, and then we're going to be getting another big, like, steel shelf rack, um, to put against the wall that has the mirror on it. Oh, thank you. It's, it's a fixer-upper. That's for sure. <laughs> this hair, though, you guys. Oh, my God. Um, so, yeah, that's the living room. And then we come into the craft room. And this is my little corner where I do wire wrapping and polymer clay and chainmail storage. Love this storage shelf. This is my Randy, <laughs> who I love. He's my favorite. Say hey, Randy. Hey, Randy. <laughs> or you could sell the love seat to me. No, we need a couch upstairs. We don't have anywhere comfortable to sit. So this is lots more storage. Well, I mean, let's not hasten anything. <laughs> live that that, that love seat needs reupholstered before I sell it to anybody. Yeah. Uh, that's a door out under the side of the front porch. Like, I love our front porch because that's a naked mannequin, too. What? Um, because it, like, wraps around the front of the house. Oh. And then this was the window that I was so excited to tell you guys about um, with all of the uh, drawers kind of stacked up. And it gave us so much space to reorganize but all the drawers are already full yeah it's we're gonna go through and we're gonna redo the curtains
but it's just one thing at a time. Um, and then right here is the one, this is the mess that I'm particularly proud of. It's a nine foot long, very fancy dining table that I have degenerated into probably the best crafting table ever because I love it. But it's, it's heavy wood, so I can do leather tooling and all kinds of stuff on it. Um, we're still working on, we need that other rack, honestly, you guys, because all the that's on here um doesn't have a home uh and so eh, we're working on it but ideally this is like you can see my paint brushes and my colored pencils <laughs> buried back there um this was like the art station and then farther down is leather and foam and then farther down this was going to be randy and i's shared area that way and then we've got some drawers underneath the table we got these, like, organizer, like, saddle bags that hook onto the trash can. That, I mean, they're not intended to hook onto a trash can. That's just what they do. Um, and then I actually have some drawers pulled out of that one. That's it. This is where she starts doing cartwheels through all her newfound space, right? Hey, Samantha, thank you. Lots more light. I'm really pleased with it. It's so much more... I do have the new sun catcher hanging up. Melissa, check it. Eee. Is it? Yep. <laughs> now, I haven't been awake at a time whenever it would be sending rainbows through the room, but, <laughs> oops. When you get a chance to check the comments on the video about your Patreon, I posted suggestions. I'd like to hear what you think. It's kind of long, though. Right on. I actually think Randy and I were talking about it quite a bit, and we think what we're going to do on the Patreon is, for the $10 ones, we'll do shipments every other month. I haven't talked to all of my patrons about it yet, but that way um, they'll basically get... Well, that'll be in addition to compensate for the fact that they aren't getting monthly shipments. Because I'm also figuring out how to do PDFs um, for all of my patterns. Because check it what we made yesterday, you guys. We spent $700 on shipping this month. 745 Randy says 745 But who's counting? But who's counting? Just us. <laughs> um, and so... For you, you'll be able to download the PDF for this so that you can make it either out of leather or out of foam. And that will become available to our $10 patrons. Um, but we're going to ship out on the even months. That way, if you join in an odd month, you'll just get a double shipment. So, <laughs> um, but that should be kind of... And then if you want, you know, to get a shipment every month, you can do um, $20 patron stuff. And you'll still get access to all the other previous tiers. The shelf along the top of the walls around the room or rooms, and you'd be surprised at how much it can store. I need to do that. The problem is I'm super short, and it's really hard to install them. <laughs> so, but I'm excited because through this door, right there, that doorway, there's actually two more doors into the room over there, so I did not mind at all blocking that one out. Um, but that entire room is going to be used for storage and stuff. Hey, doggo. There's Z-Dog being a dog. You take that back. No, look at him. He's clearly a dog. <laughs> okay, so now we can put this back in here. So yeah, that's that's the craft room. I'm super, I'm super pleased with it. Oh, well, thank you, Michelle. <laughs> Puppy power. Okay, flipping this around so we can get back to work on the fairy house. And oh my gosh, my jewelry station over here is so much more organized. It's really nice to have extracted all the leather working out of here and put it over into its own spot. <laughs> oh, Mikio, okay. Um, the new Patreon news, I think we'll actually be doing a video about it when we get all of the fine details worked out. But for now, um, we think we're going to do the $10 patrons at an every other month they get a, a shipment. Um... And then, uh, yeah, every other month we would do a, a shipment for the $10 pledgers, but then we're also figuring out how to make PDFs available for folks to just download, and that will be available to our $10 tier as well to kind of compensate for not getting something mailed to you every month. Okay. No, it's not set in stone. Yeah, it's not, it's not at all set in stone yet. 
I wish there was a way I could help you guys beyond just financial support. I mean, I know financial support is important, but y'all need more hands. Oh, Nicole, that's really sweet. And honestly, the best help that anybody can be to us is to just keep enjoying our videos um, and keep doing your own thing as an artist because y'all inspire me so much. Like, I mean, it, that sounds like cheesy, I guess, but it's a little self-serving. Like, the more I teach you guys, the more ideas you'll be able to come up with, and then I get to learn from y'all. So... <laughs> So for me, it's a little self-serving being like, yes, go out and try new things so I can learn. <laughs> okay. And oh my gosh, though, my hips are killing me, you guys. And I dried that off just to dunk it right back into the water. Oh, well, thank you, Shannon. Um, I bought the base um, from Hobby Lobby. Isn't it, though? I'm going to make it into like a little garden gazebo. Like, I was going to try to make like little miniature furniture for inside of it. Um... But yeah, I was going to try to make little furniture for inside of it, but, um, <laughs> we do, Melissa, that is for sure. <clears throat> I was complaining that I wanted more interesting trolls. What? Why? Nightbot, leave my friends alone. <laughs> Yeah. If whenever you're done with that round, do you want to go into Nightbot for me, Randy? Maybe. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to be using the Warm White. There are tons of programs out there to do your own PDFs out of. And then you just add them to your website as a download that is accessible with a password of your choice. And, Bill, I think that's what we're going to be doing. Um, <clears throat> we actually, we ended up, we had to buy... Uh, all of our computers are so old, they don't have any updated, um, like, Microsoft Word or uh, Adobe or anything on it. So we went ahead and invested in some of that. Um, and I hate to spend money on stuff, but I don't understand how to use computers very well. Um, so we just went ahead and choked out the cash for it. So now we it totally justifies being like, okay, well, it's a business expense for Patreon. So, so yeah. Can you use candles in the fairy house? You do. And have you made a house with clear tint plastic? I haven't made a house with clear tint plastic, and I wouldn't recommend using actual candles, at least not for this one, because the distance, like, it would burn the inside of the wood. Um, but I think I'm going to do a second smaller fairy house for a giveaway later this month. Um, and that one is actually going to be a candle holder for live flame. So I think that'll be pretty fun. <laughs> Says the chicken outside. Oh, dad nubbit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, Annette, how's it going? Mary says, um, <laughs> Hey, Vaughn and Randy, I have a question. Have you ever done a project with polymer clay and wire together? I'm trying to find a video that has information on it. Um, do you mean wire like armature wire for it to give it structure or like a wire wrapped polymer clay project? Derby says, okay, I know that was a short break, but I started studying. Then as I was searching for music, I found your live stream. But anyways, I just started drawing some Steven Universe OCs. Ooh, right on. <laughs> Smiley face times 100. <laughs> okay, um, I'll actually do some for you. Um, because I have done, I, I'll, I do quite a bit of like um, wire wrapping my own polymer clay cabochons, if that makes sense. Um... And then also using like polymer clay beads and stuff that I made. Is that is that how you mean? Um, 
Oh, I'm so glad, Annette. <laughs> it's definitely, it's the best time of year for going to Ren Fairs, honestly. I do think. I might be a little biased, but. I'm going to give it another coat of paint on the bottom. Because I really want to be able to cover up that, uh. Hey, Valerie! And then this will probably warrant a uh, third coat of paint as well. Rachel, um, I'm actually painting a fairy house made out of a gazebo from like Hobby Lobby. So I'm not sure if it's going to have any polymer clay on it yet or not. Um, that is yet to be determined. <laughs> oh, right on. Hey, Jenny. Today I have to paint some of my polymer clay sculptures since I use Super Sculpey. They have to be painted. Have a commission that needs finished for Saturday and two others to work on. Busy, busy. <laughs> hey, Carol, I did. Your garden's beautiful. Um, Valerie did actually, Mikio. <laughs> well, the October eighth giveaway. Now we had one on the 3rd. It mailed out yesterday. Well, today. Has the mailman come to pick it up yet? I don't know if the mailman's come and picked it up yet. Hey, Red Griffin. Michelle says, Vaughn, what is the best way to get a texture from a flimsy wall stencil onto my polymer clay? Um, if it's a flimsy wall stencil, you might have better luck um, using like a paint or a powder over it to just transfer the design or maybe um, using like a stylus tool to outline it and then go through by hand and like indent or fill in or texture the background if that makes sense And I'm just painting. My hubby got me an awesome dragon stuff. Oh my god. I couldn't go 10 feet without people mentioning it in the question. They asked 20 questions about the bracelet. Right on. That sounds like you had a lot of fun. And I think, I honestly think you guys, my next investment is going to be an airbrusher. Because that would be so much easier than having to hand paint all this stuff. And we could use it for on our foam and for on our leather and all sorts of stuff. Cooking dinner while watching Vaughn. Right on. Um, an airbrusher? Is that what you were asking? did and you might get way more than a bracelet <laughs> I made one of these wood houses the other day I glued pebbles to the wood and used sand and glue for grout between turned out cool that sounds really cool actually <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna rotate it I think I'm gonna leave it raw wood on the inside because I think that will lend itself to a, just a nice warm glow whenever there's a candle in it. It's a sticker. Mmm, on the base, that logo you just covered, not a sticker, it looks like one. Yeah, it's a sticker. I couldn't get it off, and it was driving me crazy, so I just got painted over it. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
My airbrushing is so much faster. My dad did airbrushed murals for a living. I've been debating picking up some of his old equipment, but I don't have space right now. Right on. <laughs> hey, Kristen. Thank you. I hope you like it. <laughs> Question, why is it that my brain understands how to do chain mail, but my hands go haywire? <laughs> because it's easier said than done, Rhea. It truly is. Like, um, <clears throat> even whenever I have something, like, figured out, like, in my mind's eye, my hands do not always want to do it. So it's just, just keep, keep at it. You'll get the hang of it. Mm -hmm. What's up, honey? they've got some new skins out but you go to the shop and they're not listed as the newest skins mm. it's like man you think for as long as they've been doing this game they'd have a system set in place to nope get stuff done. <laughs> mm. only 40 minutes late youtube right oh melissa just got the notification Mmm. Hey, Jan. Hey, dreamed watching while working. Me too. What's up, bro? Cupid's new skin. Oh? Yeah. What is it? Oh, he's a little Casper ghost. That's actually kind of cute. <laughs> hey, horror. Yeah, YouTube is uh, kind of disappointing me here lately, but they're the best platform I know of for this is a really cool skin, doing what we do. Oh, yeah? yeah? Oh, my gosh, you guys. It's so nice having... We basically have October off a little bit. Like, we have... This weekend, I'm teaching at a Tandy Leather in Springfield um, how to do thermoplastic skulls. And then the weekend after that, we are doing um, a one-day craft show here in Carthage. And then we don't have anything until two conventions back to back in November. So we're actually having an opportunity to get caught up like on life, um, <laughs> which is so cool. Like, I'm very, very pleased uh, with that. <laughs> Bless you, baby. Hey, Karen. Yvonne, you should try your hand at acrylic pores. I tried one, but it just kind of looked like sparkly, swirly diarrhea. Right on. <laughs> um, I actually have been watching uh, Lorehand, Lorehand's Creations. She does some really beautiful acrylic pouring, and it is definitely inspiring to watch and be like, well, I want to try that. <laughs> but again, it's uh, this month I'm focusing on completing existing projects in maintaining prior obligations um, like Patreon and fairy houses and all the giveaways and stuff. So um, I might wait until December to start taking on brand new projects. Or next week, who knows? Y'all know me. <laughs> the craft room wasn't even supposed to get rearranged until the end of November and we've been there and done that. Were you groaning, Randy? Mm -hmm. Were you groaning just now? Like a Sam dog. Like so this is not the most challenging painting I've ever done. It's just a little tedious and time consuming. So glad I caught you. Is the craft room all done? It is, Joanne, and I've messed it up already. <laughs> it's an LED candle. Mm-hmm. Well, it's, I like the LEDs because they're house-friendly, they're pet-friendly, you know. Sure, sure. 
Elf ears? You can make those? Wait, um, we do wire elf ears, but... Ooh, Annette, that's so cool. Uh, well, we'll see you later, Ethereal. <laughs> Thank you so much for doing that. Randy actually hit his 10,000 lifetime view mark, and yes, as far as I'm aware, they still have not remonetized his videos. No, they have not. He says, no, they have not. Have you checked it again today? We have got to grease up that chair. But then how will people know when I'm moving? Do they need to know when you're moving? <laughs> Why do you take away the things I love? What do you mean? <laughs> I'm not taking away anything. I'm just saying we need to grease it up. What if you make dainty little fairies to put inside the house and maybe put real flowers or little vines on the house? I'm actually, I am going to do a, a lot of silk floral. Um... Serious. Growing all over the house. What's up, Randy? Oh, those jerks. What? Well, I'm monetizable. Yeah. I just have to go back through and re-monetize every oh, single manually? video manually. Oh, well, at least they're gonna give you your 14 cents a month again. Yeah, at least there's that. Mm -hmm. Poor baby. Jerky jerks. <laughs> Well, I know what I'm doing for the next two hours. Right. <laughs> they wire. I can't remember. I guess they'll just have to order some on Amazon. Actually, if you're looking to order um, prosthetic elf ears, might I highly recommend my friends with Eridani Studios. They make them both out of latex and silicone. Um, you can just go to eridanistudios.com or like Google Eridani elf ears, and they have the widest selection of the best quality elf ears like around they're they're the bomb diggity and i do believe they ship internationally as well the <laughs> uh it's a r a d a n i i think i don't know <laughs> that'd be cool nicole <laughs> So once we get this base color of paint done, we'll be able to come through and start doing the fun decorative stuff. Do y'all want to get a sneak peek of what the wire wrapping project for tomorrow is? Do I? Do you? Do I? Hey, Lara! So, this is tomorrow's tutorial. <laughs> well, thanks, Linda. So, it's a little bit of a longer tutorial, but we go over it, and uh, this, it's... Well, it's a little over an hour. It's like an hour and 20 minutes. Hour, minutes. <laughs> but this was made with the um, silver-filled parawire, so I could actually go through and oxidize this. Camera, would you focus for like two minutes? There we go. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what I was humming. <laughs> well, thank you guys. I'm really glad you like it. But yeah, sneak peek for tomorrow. Tomorrow's tutorial. Mm-hmm. Yep. Y'all got a sneak peek even before my patrons did. What? Mm-hmm. Well, it's, I was really excited. I want to show somebody. <laughs> oh, goodness me. What's up, love? Well, they found monetized again. Yeah. Are you going through and doing all that, or are you giving it a minute? Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm not very good at painting three-dimensional objects. I don't feel like I always like overextend the paint. 
I guess I could use painter's tape. Ah, see? Well, I'll just go through and touch up where I mess up. <laughs> Twisted said, I need real friends. We are real friends. <laughs> are you doing this Dr. Evil? I don't know, maybe. I don't know, man. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> What'd you do? Killed someone, but I died. <laughs> ah. Oh no, Aries. Hmm. He just wants to die. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. I have real friends on the internet. With an airbrush, you could do more fine detail work. Right on. Like I was looking at them at Hobby Lobby, and the airbrush, like tip and stuff itself, is doesn't seem that expensive. Um, but it's the air compressor and the fact that I have absolutely zero concept of what I'm actually doing. Um, so, but I, I do feel like I'm starting to need one to be able to cut down on the amount of time spent on projects. Um, in addition to just the stuff, you know, there's a lot of stuff you can do with an airbrush that's just not really as doable. Um, otherwise, I think. And then I was also watching some videos on vacuum forming. Um, and I was like, ooh, that's cool. I'm just thinking of all the different ways that I could fill up the other room. <laughs> you know, because I'm not happy unless I'm making messes. Because and... yeah, that's what you need to Well, yeah. I mean, clearly, Randy. <laughs> so do you ever scare yourself by accidentally cracking something? Because once I cracked my back and screamed. Oh, goodness. No, not typically. No. Do what? Was it painful? Yeah. If it hurts, then, I mean, that's one thing. But no, uh... But I am an aging beast, so there's no telling what tomorrow might bring. Um... Because today, I've got some serious hip pain. But I think it's because I did, like, a hundred squats yesterday. Um... Because it's not my hips, it's my hip flexors. They're just super, super tight. And I'm not used to be them being so tight. Okay. Let's see, press the super heat button to donate. Or super chat, yeah. <laughs> Question, are you still enjoying Blue Apron? Um, We actually get our third week shipment tomorrow. And so far, yeah, we're really enjoying it. Um, We had... We still have one meal that we need to eat up from them because we've been babysitting over at the friend's house who house sits for us. Um, So they've been feeding us dinner. So, we ha so we've been eating like two meals a day. Like I'll cook breakfast and then... Uh, we go over there and have dinner, but, um, so we still have one meal that needs to be e eaten up, but I didn't much care for the barbecue chicken turnover recipe, um, because, like, the side dish was, like, 30 pounds of coleslaw, and I'm, like, not a big fan of coleslaw, but, you know, uh, or, or. <laughs> yeah, I totally had, like, imaginary Randy, um, is pretty hilarious because he suggested that instead of eating dessert, we eat the rest. I don't know. It was it was funny in my head. You should have been there. Um, <laughs> like Randy didn't think it was funny either. But I wasn't just standing around in my kitchen hallucinating. But yeah, for the most part, um, I'm very pleased with Blue Apron. We get our next uh, shipment tomorrow, which is great because we need more groceries. So. <laughs> And that's probably my favorite part about it, is I have not had to go and get, like, actual groceries. And I've been supplementing with, basically, um, we eat 
almost entirely out of the garden and by what Blue Apron gives us. So that's pretty cool, I think. I need a vacation from life. After your video, another video of this chef trying to make the stuff still took an hour to make. Um, well, sometimes chicken just takes a long time to cook. Um, so it doesn't necessarily cut down as much on the cook time, but I feel like it, it spells it out for me and makes it a little bit simpler. Um, because I am not an efficient person, like, and it, I don't know, it basically does the meal planning for me. And that's what I'm really bad at, is the meal planning. Okay. And making a Peridot original character. Um, I don't know if they have a vegan option. I think they have a vegetarian option. I'm still waiting for them to develop the Star Trek replicator system. Like, that's what I want. I want to be able to just buy a, a replicator and a protein synthesizer. That'd be so cool. Awesome. I'm not made for ballet. <laughs> hey, Vaughn just got done making dragon eyes and they turned out awesome. And my 90 year old helped too. Right on. <laughs> Are you going to do an exercise video? We could all join in. Um, possibly. Um, I, I am going to try to do updates and stuff on my Instagram with the hashtag getting fit for cosplay. Um, but for the most part, like, I don't want to do videos of it and then like, be giving away all of the Body Boss programs that I'm doing, like, the exercises. Um, you know, because it's, bas it's, it's like, uh, you know, I don't want to bypass the book, you know, because they've got to make money, too. But I'll definitely be sharing my progress and stuff with everybody. Hopefully, I'll make progress. Um, because right now I just feel, like, beaten up. <laughs> But on my off days as well, like today, they're just like, go do cardio. So I was going to hoop dance and do yoga with Adrian because my body hurts. <laughs> like, not to be whiny, but it, I mean, it's a good hurt, kind of, except for this really is like legitimately the most muscle pain I've ever been in in my whole life. So it kicked my butt super good or super bad. I'm not sure which yet. Carthage or something. I don't know this. Oh, um, oh, you know, and I have not had a, uh, an, an opportunity to check out Magic Dip. Um, my shipping address is P.O. Box 238, Carthage, Missouri, 64836. Take a bite out of crime. Take a bite out of, you take a bite out of crime. Bless Captain America. Oh, Vaughn. I'm just trying to make clean edges and I keep messing it up. Oh, there's going to be stuff over that anyhow. <laughs> hey, Gany Vaughn. My laptop has a mind of its own. Kicked me off of YouTube. Oh, no. I once made a craft and people laughed at me. They thought I was joking. Oh, no. Well, that wasn't very nice of them. Hey, Jamie. I'm so glad you like our videos. But, yeah, it's honest to goodness. Like, you don't have to be an expert to enjoy what you're doing. And, you, like, Randy's always reminding me whenever I get down on myself. He's like, sometimes you have to be bad before you can be good. And that's okay. I mean, that's how it happens. Yeah, 
You scatterbrained me too, by the way. I'm working on a schoolie conver conversion that will have a small art studio for me to finally get back to art. I'm so excited. Right on. But no, oh my god, I'm 100% scatterbrained. But I've also never tried to promote myself as anything other, <laughs> you know, than completely just brain dead, basically. Not brain dead, just very preoccupied. And that, that's what I like about um, mm -hmm. arting, is it helps everything um, kind of focus. So my mind's going every single which way, but 90% of me is able to focus on the task at hand. Yeah, but then it makes maintaining conversation pretty difficult. If I were into women and not objects and children, I'd consider giving you gifts daily. Oh, goodness. Block. Have you guys signed up for WizCon? Yet yeah, it happens in April. Right on. I actually lost my notebook um, and have yet to find it a post rearrange um, that has our show lineup scheduled out in it. So I'm not sure what shows we're doing and which ones we aren't. Um, we're going to try to do where we attend one convention a month just to go and teach panels and like, you know, kind of participate in stuff. And then we'll be going through and vending at one event a month, you know, to go and like make money and things. Um, is the goal. Yeah, that was totally weird. Darn laptop, right? Hey, Jim. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's a pretty decent base. What do you guys think? <laughs> oh, I do two hours one day and two hours next. 2.5 acres of this one more. Oof. Okay, so now from here, I guess I should go over and use up the rest of this white paint. I hate to leave paint unused. Like, that's what I think I, that's why I like watercolors so much, is because you can leave it on your palette and then just reactivate it later but with acrylics once it's dry it's basically ruined as far as I'm aware like it's uh, well not ruined but unusable ruined ruined, ruined. ruined it. you ruined it I miss you all the way over there Randy well no one said you had to do your phone recording I know it just made sense <laughs> I think I have a Rihanna song stuck in my head. I think that's what I keep humming. You play with the monsters that are under my bed. But, oh yeah, because I was looking at my monster shoes that I usually wear whenever it gets cold. Sure, playing with all the monster shoes. No, well I was just like, why is this even stuck in my head? I haven't even listened to any music yet today. So we're doing like a super flat layer of this warm white to start with. There we go. Mm -hmm. What embellishments are we thinking for this? Well, I was going to do the roof in pine cones. And I was going to do, like, silk floral and stuff, climbing up it like it's like a little gazebo. Um, and I don't know what I was going to do for the base here. I think I might just leave it unfinished wood. 
but are you doubling up on color? Yeah, I'm kind of just thickening up this kind of cottage white and then I'm actually going to reach through with my brush and just very lightly like I'm going to get some water on my brush and make a little bit more of a wash. And I am painting up the inside just a bit. <laughs> I'm not worried about making it so thick and dark as what it is on the outside, but I am giving it a nice light wash of color. Yes, and I, I stole a pair of Randy's sweatpants, and I had my warm little fuzzy monster foot house shoes on earlier says the rooster outside hmm I'm just not as good as I used to be on knocks yeah you'll get there baby that's exciting oh, yeah play a few rounds mm -hmm. that's my goal hey can I have some kisses or something what what no uh no, no, uh. we can't be all out of kisses. I mean, you, you storing kisses somewhere in this house? I've been stockpiling them for years. They're probably gone back. You give me kisses right meow. I don't have any. But just make some real quick. Mm -hmm. Just make mm -hmm. some? You can't just make Hershey kisses. Shut up and give me kisses. <laughs> mm, I love you. That's what the fa factory's for. <laughs> the kiss factory. <laughs> Sorry, I have needs. <laughs> Late to the crafting, but I'm here. Hey, and sorry. Randy's over there making mouth fart noises. <laughs> okay, so yeah, just doing a quick kind of messy wash on the inside, which actually is not coming out as messy as I thought it would be, which is great. If I disappear, I'm not being rude. I am being fired out by my internet provider. Oh no. Oh my gosh. What's happening? I don't know. Something about the internet. Not the internet. The very same. Anything that. Mm -hmm. Do you have the Yes. Oh. What'd you steal it? I don't know. You didn't. I stole it. I think while you were making your cocoa. Ah. <laughs> well, would you rather me let your phone die? <laughs> yes, coffee for sure. I actually need to heat it back up. I didn't drink all my, all my cocoa. Hey, Kate. How's it going? <laughs> You're not Kate, Randy. <laughs> Stop answering for other people. <laughs> Teen Planet Hair of the King Bay. What? Uh, we're going to have to do something about that night bot. Oh, right. Yeah, you were going to do that in between matches. Remind me of this match. Okay. Oh, my back hurts. Um, Randy's YouTube account is Randy Vaughn. R-A-N-D-Y-V-O-N. Do another leather working project, please. We actually have one coming up, not tomorrow, but the day after. Or, wait, no, the day after that's Thursday. Uh, leather working will be on Friday. <laughs> this time. Alrighty, I think we get to start doing the fun stuff now, guys. We do the fun stuff. Mm hmm. We do the fun stuff. Hammer's call to glory. Dun, 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 dun. Bow, bow. Cool. What time your side of the pond? It is 106 in the afternoon. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. So. Because I had thought about doing some little stone bricks just on the corners. Like, does that make sense?
And so I'm going to see if this brush is clean enough to do this yet. I think I need to redo my build. Oh yeah? yeah. On Knox? Yeah. Hmm. It's been a while since I've tweaked it, so they've probably really changed a lot of things. Okay. Steps. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, so here I have a very dirty, gross brush that I actually need to just whack the crap out of. Just chipping off all the old paint. Um, because I don't want that to get tangled up in and all over my fairy house. This is why I can't have nice things, guys. It's <laughs> because this is how I clean my brushes. Are your Patreon mounts listed somewhere besides Patreon? Um, I don't know. Uh, and it's, we actually, we do some, like, variations sometimes. So, um, uh, Patreon's mostly, I think, for the most part, that's the only place that we have them listed. Okay, so I'm going to do just a spot of the brown. Mixed with just a spot of raw iron. Brush abuse. <laughs> uh, is there any in there? Hello? Okay, I don't ask you questions like that. You see Bob Ross smacking the bejesus out of his brush, right? No. Ugh. Ah, my, some of my, these paints are like eight years old. So, don't blame it on the aged paints. I'll blame it on the aged paints because that's what the problem is. <laughs> mm hmm. This is acrylic. And just a spot of the wrought iron. And I'm going to take this. Uh, you know, I'm just going to go get a clean brush. I'm going to keep that soaking for a minute. I'll be right back, guys. And my toes are cold. Where's my monster shoes? Ouch, my hips. <laughs> it's hard being what? a Vaughn. It's so hard being a Vaughn. And you say that with no sympathy, but it really is. <laughs> with no sympathy. Mm -hmm. He needs oh, to I get his clock checked. I put the wrong checked. shoe on the wrong foot. You know what? Hmm. That rooster needs to get his clock checked. Yeah, doesn't he? Well, he's mad because he's locked out of the yard. Oh. I can't say as I blame him. Though. Well. Okay, sorry guys, I'm back. <laughs> And so I'm just kind of fluffing it just onto the tips of the uh, of the brush, and I'm going to come through, and I'm just kind of antiquing this. With a very light dry brushing. So that's it with it dry brushed. And that's it with no dry brushing. So, I mean, super subtle difference. Oh, my gosh. Mm. <laughs> Annette's getting into a fight with Nightbot. Annette is? Mm-hmm. Well, why don't she stop using so many emotions? I don't know. <laughs> but I just feel like this gives it like a depth of realism um, and it brings out just a lot of the details that otherwise might not have shown and the camera isn't really picking up on it that well because like it's a very bright white right <laughs> Mm 
but so I don't know how well you guys can see this, but I promise you it's making a huge difference. I've been doing so much of that lately. My shoulder hurts. <laughs> when did you start with Back to Earth Creations? Um, back in 2008 was whenever we formed our company and started going on the road and selling our artwork and vending our wares and stuff. Um, I've been on for about an hour and 15 minutes now. <laughs> I've never commented on a live video, so I don't know if questioning about another video is kosher or not, but how do you know what colors to use when making your dragon eyes? That's perfectly kosher, McKay. Um, <laughs> thanks, yeah. Sherry. Do what? How dare you? No. Um, I, I don't know. It's A lot of it is um, just experimentation, finding out which colors I like the look of together. Um, I try to use, like with our dragon eyes, I'll try to, like uh, the fire themed ones, I'll try to pick one very light color, so usually like a ye light yellow or gold, um, a mid-tone, oh. so like a an orange or a copper, and then a dark tone, so like um, a darker, like a bolder red or a dark red or even a black, um, and just kind of let those um, kind of contrast with each other, and I think that's a really good starting place, and then kind of fleshing in the uh, in-between colors. What is my favorite color? It's probably peacock colors. Like, I love that kind of emerald green mixed with, like, blue and purple and copper and... Do what, Randy? I thought it was tie-dye. Oh, like peacock colored tie-dye. See, see, now you're just... Now you're just Randy, don't hassle the hoff. Well, have... <laughs> Randy hassles me just for the fun of it, and it makes me kind of bonkers sometimes. Okay, so there we have and so you can kind of see just that little bit of detailing that it gives. Oh hey Jeanette, I haven't had a chance to check my messages here lately so it's um I'll, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for it though. Thanks, Anne. Um, the question is, what's my most favorite thing I've ever made? Um, chickens. Uh, I'm not really sure. Honestly, right now I'm feeling particularly fond of that tree necklace that I did and sold to Marcia for her sister. I, re I was really pleased and proud of that. Like, But it's, it's difficult because it's like, well, my favorite leather project or my favorite chainmail project or my favorite wire wrapping project. And then to get super cheesy with it, my favorite thing is probably the life and I that Ra the the life Randy and I have built together. You can't even say it. it's so cheesy. Your mouth just kind of sticks. I'm gonna throw shit at you. <laughs> I love you, but oh, thank you, Jim. <laughs> so I'm finally gonna start this. Not turning off live stream though. I enjoy it too much. Right on. Postage money. Thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, so I antique the insides just a little bit. Duh. Okay. I love your dragon. I love jewelry and fairies. Right on. <laughs> Morning, Kate. Okay, I'm going to wipe off. I, I don't want to be dipping my arm in it. It was all kind of gloopy anyhow. Okay. Um, I was brushing on just a blend of raw iron and coffee bean acrylic paint to give it that really, just that little bit of darkness there on the edge. Did USPS pick up or do you have to go to the post office? We have a pickup scheduled, but I don't know if they've gotten it yet. Ooh, thank you, McKay. <laughs> yeah, Randy says it's still out on the front porch. And that's the thing, is like, if it's our typical 
blackmail guy. Mm-hmm. He checks and he's like, oh, they've got a pickup. So he comes and hits us like first thing in the morning. Right. And but we've the been having. Guy. Yeah, they're not very good. I don't know. Like. He just comes by whenever he comes to drop off the mail. And that's usually pretty late in the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'd know because the dogs would let us know. <laughs> That's true. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of antiquing here on the ceiling. Or on the roof, rather. Killer man, man. Yep. But yeah, I just feel like, I mean, it ages and weathers it. Nicole says, I know I asked you once if you ever used wire to capture Dragon Eye rather than a pre-made base. So new question. Okay. <laughs> that was very generous of you, McKay and Jim. I want to try to make your Dragon Eyes dewy. It's so much fun. Be warned, though. It's addicting. <laughs> like, so addicting. Do you need attention, Randy? <laughs> like, you're so sassy today. <laughs> you're just acting out, and I'm like, are you okay? No. And you won't let me love on you, because you're all like, you smell bad. <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> There's something that can be done about that. Have you ever captured an eye with wire and then made, like, a complicated wrap eye without a pre-made base? If so, how? I'll do a video for you. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever heard that before. What's that? I just killed Sebek's and she said, lights out. Hmm. It has been a while since you played that character. Yeah, I'm starting to get the rest. Yeah, that's the great thing about dry brushing is you can kind of just <laughs> wing it. It does not have to be fancy. Wow, well, yeah. <laughs> oh no, what size cabochon did you get? Uh, Melissa said she got the wrong size cabs off of Amazon. I'm not sure how to unblock her. Like, I didn't realize she had gotten blocked. Um, Who? Annette? I guess Bogle? Uh. Randy's going to go in and unblock her, because if I leave the screen on the phone, it cancels the, uh, the live stream. And, um... So whenever Randy finishes his match, he's going to go in. I can't use my laptop right now because it's installing updates and is all out of commission. So if somebody could let her know that, um, yes, yeah, she will be unblocked shortly. Or Annette, if you can hear me, I'm so sorry. Randy's doing it now. Thank you, honey. Right? Did she just get blocked? I'm not certain. That should be easy enough to find, but... Yeah. Oh. Ah! Annette got unblocked. I guess it just put her in timeout. Oh, okay. Okay. Excellent. Well, while you're in there, do you think you could modify Nightbot? Not until this match is over. Okay. Okay, I was stocking the paint in my department when I found this color shift purple and green paint. <gasps> Thinking about sending you some, they're gorgeous. That would be so cool. Is it purple and green? Debbie says, Vaughn, I just found out you get credit for what I ordered from Amazon, but I ordered directly from App. How can I give you credit for my past orders? Um, I, it doesn't work for past orders, Debbie. It would just be you would just uh, click through. Um, Nightbot is a, a moderator. It, it Like, if you post too many spammy face like a 
um, not spammy uh, emoji faces or like, I don't know, we're, we're fine tuning it. Um, <laughs> right? And the thing is, is it doesn't always show me it on my page. One of my friends got me turned on to it. And for the most part, I'm satisfied. But and then, you know, there's days like today where Nightbot's going crazy. Um, but I'm just trying to figure this stuff out. Cause Nightbot or do I go to Google? You go to Nightbot. Like Google? I mean YouTube. I got you. Okay. Well, it's for the most part it it keeps a lot of the uh <laughs> a lot of the um spammers out mm. who come through and just post like one letter after another and So, did you have to agree with Yeah. As soon as I saw it, I thought of you and your dragon eyes or fairy houses. Oh, well, thank you, Sherry. <laughs> okay. So now, that fun part I was talking about. And considering it took me an hour to paint this, I need an airbrusher. Um, I am not going to be doing any uh, polymer clay on it. I'm just going to go through and I'm going to go ahead and start doing... I got some super cute little pine cones <laughs> sent to me. And then Randy and I were out on a walk and I found some bigger pine cones that I'm going to use for a little farther down. But these were sent to me by my friend Cheryl. So thank you so much, Cheryl. And then these ones were from the golf course. Randy and I stole them. <laughs> Bye, Annette. Now, these ones from so the golf... Was she doing excessive emotions? I don't know. Excessive symbols. Um, if you want to take off to, like, disable the excessive symbols and emotions... How on earth do you take apart a pine cone? I've never actually demolished one before. With a hammer. With a, I don't, I'm not going to use a hammer on it. <laughs> Bye, Jim. Ooh, mini stained glass would be cool. Good gravy. Eee, and I'm all sticky. Why am I sticky? <laughs> How do I get pine pitch off of me? Other than fire. It smells really nice, though. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> oh, like I don't know if you can see, but it's oh, it's all sticky. Not sure if anyone has been to or knows of the new craft store, Pat Catan's Melting Jolly Ranchers at low temp in an oven works for many stained glass. Ooh, cut them off with scissors. Hand sanitizer. I've got some hand sanitizer in there. Okay, so. It begins. I want to get like a whole row set up first. There we go. Well, I guess I'm just going to be sticky today. <laughs> I was going to try to be neat and tidy about this, but there doesn't seem to be any neat or tidy about it. You know, on most insurance companies, what insure has this with pine cones? Fortunately, fa fairy insurance companies do, though. <laughs> Baby oil will take it off. Right on. Hey, April, how's it going? Hey, Karen. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So I wish you could have started earlier. I might have to go out and mow before you're done. All right, on. Well, it's, I had planned on only doing like a two hour live stream today, but I'm basically going to be here until the house is done. Um, and then you can always come back and watch it uh, after the fact as well, too. <laughs> right? I think there's a rooster in my front yard. <laughs> like, Okay, so I'm going to go wash my sticky hands. Oh no, where are you packing to go, Ra April? Ooh, my hands smell amazing. <laughs> I just came home dead tired from med school. Your life seems just a thing to watch while relaxing. Oh, right on. Anti-glue cleaners work. Mm. Ooh, I'm just going to stay smelling nice. <laughs> okay, so doing just a little strip of hot glue. And then placing. Gotta place them quick though before the glue dries. I didn't think of that. This is the chicken outside. Can y'all hear that chicken? <laughs> There's the first row. Yep. <laughs> I have pine cones free. Come pick up your own LOL. Yep. <laughs> and also, just so y'all know, those are my house shoes of choice during the winter. I love wearing different monster feet, and I've got like some little minion faced house shoes and <laughs> all sorts of stuff that I just I love house shoes. They make me so happy. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to come through with my wire snips and protect my coffee. Okay. When I need a roofer, I'll call Vaughn. No, I am not a certified professional. <laughs> so, just adding in. Is that is that just him out there? Yeah. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Get a nice generous layer. There we are. What's your favorite type of craft to make? That didn't work. Oh, wait. Are you logged into my. It does work. Oh? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Sorry, Randy's logged in as me and he's typing things. <laughs> it startled me. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to take apart these cute little ones, though. Like, because I don't want to just demolish it. So there's a bit of a delayed response, but yeah, you can totally do this. Oh, that just broke it. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Command. Are they set up on a timer still? No. Do you want me to set them on a timer? Sure. I can try. I think that'd be really cool. That way I don't have to type in anything. There it is. That's how it is. Insta work. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
everyone can use these. So, Excitement Mark Mail and Excitement Mark Facebook and Excitement Mark Patreon and Excitement Mark. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, if somebody's asking you where to mail stuff, you can just tell them to type Excitement Mark Mail. Okay. Or exclamation point. Whatever. I don't know. I like saying Excitement Mark. Depends on where you went to school. Right, that's fair. I went to school in the boonies. So it's an excited mark. It's an excited mark. <laughs> okay. Nylon gel ones. Okay. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. What's that? Let's see if this actually pops out what it's supposed mm, to be. Right. And maybe work from the bottom of the pound? Hmm? Maybe work from the bottom of the pound? Maybe. Or use your pliers to snap them off? Maybe. Hashtag <laughs> feet size. Hmm, that one's not working. I can make one. <laughs> What's that? Feet size. Feet size what? Exclamation mark feet size. It Oh no, okay. Oh, Melissa, I'm not sure they got one for that one set up yet. Oh, my foot size, I, I wear a size 7 in women's. Um, I can also wear a size 6 if it's a, like a wide toe. Hold on, I'm a cannon. Oh, wow. So, okay. so I'm pretty pleased with how that's looking so far. And now also all these gaps and things, I'm going to go in and I'm going to be like tucking in like moss and stuff and... All sorts of cute little doodads. Na, 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 na. What is your foot size? Uh, it's typically a size 7. Sometimes it's a little large on me, but I'd rather wear a shoe too big than a shoe too small. Is that ladies or children's? <laughs> ladies. Ladies. What's that mean? It means uh, it can't be done again for five seconds. Mm. I always get ideas when I'm watching Fawn's live streams. <laughs> right on. What's up? <laughs> I got it to work. Good job, baby. Thank you so much, by the way. Oh, dang it. Hmm. Hold on. There we are. Yeah, just snipping off the end seems to work way better. Just popping off the ends, the little pine cones. Na, 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 na. Na, na, na. Okay, so now there's the, what I was looking for. So I gotta come over here. What's that? Okay, I think I understand. Now I gotta go over here and do. Yeep! Soaking. I'm so sticky. <laughs> like, all of this pitch is just... But it smells so good. <laughs> okay, when was that? When was what? It doesn't give me timestamps. Alright, so 
I gotta watch for another six minutes. Okay. <laughs> so, Vaughn, I asked this one on one of your videos, but I will ask it here. Mm -hmm. The rings that you got from the American male, mm -hmm. are they similar in quality and temper to the ring board? Um, I think they are, yeah. The, uh... The uh, Chainmail USA, they have pretty good stuff. Like, I've ordered from them in the past, and I was pleased with it. This is a random question, but do you like using bright, muted, or pastel colors for your crafts? I like to use bright colors for my, uh... Where'd you get... Yeah, they were fan mail from my friend, uh... Cheryl. <laughs> okay, I've gotta go do that, like... Like, do you see? Mm -hmm. They're not hurting my hands, but I am sticky. Nature's glue. I think it's a really good idea, but it does take a lot of work. <laughs> uh, no, I cannot help anyone set up a granny cam. I don't know what that is. And what I'm on sure earth is a know. granny cam? How do I flip this around? Ah, there we are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite type of chain mail? Um, Fun. Why do you always miss my questions like me? Which questions? I don't know. It's probably the one I asked about the chain mail earlier. Those pine cones hurting your hands yet? Oh no! <laughs> so sorry, twisted. I don't mean to miss mix miss your questions. But I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick. But if you guys want to watch the back of Randy's head, I'll be right back. Oh my uh, hands! Ouch. Are those pine cones hurting? <laughs> What's your favorite type of chain mail? I don't know. Um, I really like inverted round mail. That's something I haven't done a tutorial on yet. Okay, so testing, you can see I'm sticky. So all kinds of stuff is sticking to me. Um, Oh, I thought I had answered that. It's, um, yeah, the, uh, Chainmail USA does a really good job on their, uh, Chainmail. Works. What is it? The hand sanitizer totally takes off oh, that makes sense. the sticky stuff. That happened so far. I've missed the first, like, hour. But now I'm covered in hand sanitizer, so I'm gonna go wash my hands now. Um... <laughs> So I'll be. You can't you don't need no, but it's all alcoholy and dry, and it hurts all my boo boos. And uh, I'm still, I still have the gunk on alive. me. I still have the gunk on me. I didn't hear though if it was similar in temper. Is it similar in temper? Here, just a second. I can't hear you. This oh, thing whatever. So that was weird. It like deactivated the sticky, but only for so long as it was on. As soon as it started to dry, I was sticky again. Oh, mirror in the living room. Gotcha. Um, what about the temper of the rings? Um, it seems to be the same. Same like a uh, you know either full hard or half hard or whichever one it is. It's they're very similar to work with. Okay. And Nicole asked, where did I put my white paint? I have no idea where you put your white paint, Nicole. <laughs> Any new progress in the craft room? Yeah. Um. I just bought a house in Missouri. Can I come craft with you? Oh no! What part of Missouri? <laughs> um. I wonder if it was. Woohoo! Woo! I fixed it. You right. did so good. How'd you do that? Well, I smart. And guys, that right there that posted on the screen, that's why we started doing Nightbot is so that um it can post links for us. So, yay. <laughs> Hold on. In the hallway, Randy. In, in supplementing with the Ring Lord. Right on. I think it's a really good idea, Twisted. 
Windyville. I wonder if it was inherited with the house or if she picked it up along the way. In your living room. Oh, yeah, um, it came with the house. <laughs> so, okay, back to work. Yes, and that's why, you know, I, as much as I don't like Nightbot picking on my friends and booting people whenever I don't want it to, um, uh, it's that's why we started doing, yeah, it was my mom's house. <laughs> the alias you set to this command to be of oh the uh Facebook one doesn't work. Really? Yeah. It said the alias you set this command to to be of excited mark face does not exist. Ah, that's why. Okay. Why is that? Because it's face. I'm working on it. Hold on. Randy's getting it, guys. He's so good. I love me some Randy. <laughs> Give me a second. I should tell you another one that's probably not going to work. Okay. Na, 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 na. I do too. It was uh, Carol's idea. She's like, hey, I'm going to send you some pine cones to use for your roof. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and so far, I'm super duper pleased with it. <laughs> hmm. Someone said, Randy is the man, but I read, Randy is damn. <laughs> Randy is pretty damn. I was like, oh, well, okay, I'll stop. <sighs> Where can I get a Randy bot? I know they don't make this model anymore. <laughs> He's a collector's edition only. Like most things. Oh, Randy. <laughs> Did y'all hear? <laughs> and it's kind of fun just gluing stuff on. <laughs> yeah, how do you want to bake that? I'm not going to. What? Are you using like air spool no, I'm not. I totally haven't been paying attention to your live stream. The whole oh, time Randy. I've been um, I I'm not going to be using any polymer clay on this. It's all just going to be silk floral and found objects and stuff. So no bake required. If you let it take over your house, Google you can test. to comment on my web searches. Do what? More specifically, I don't think Google needs to comment on your web searches. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. Bob said, I love the way you, you're talking about one thing and in the middle of a sentence talks about something else. <laughs> Keeps the brain active, I guess. I don't know. Like, I was never diagnosed with hyperactivity, but I think that's because we just never went to the doctor. Um, but it's, I think it's pretty, it's not too far of a stretch to imagine that I have some sort of, like, ADHD or, you know, obnoxious child syndrome or something that I just never really grew out of. If you let it take over your house, you too can have a craft room like this. Uh-huh. Yeah, we just don't have a dining room anymore, which is perfectly fine. Dining rooms are for people without hobbies or with bigger houses. from Alaska, and she saw you guys at Dragon Con. Do what? I don't know if you saw my post or not, but I sold my first dragon eye to someone in Alaska. Ooh. She said she saw you guys at Dragon Con. Oh, that's super cool. How much would it weigh if we did our whole roof in hot glue and pine cone? Probably Ouch, it's hot. Ow. But on a hot day, all the shingles are going to come off. Ah, uh, that's a fair point. Okay. So I'm like, why don't they just make roofs that have hot glue and keep all the water out? <laughs> and this is why Vaughn does not build hey, look, houses. Squirrel. Do what? I love doing crafts. Hey, look, squirrel. Crafty squirrel. She's not going to lie, it's a pretty good channel name. ADD and ADHD are an odd one. The estimates are that most than half the people diagnosed with it don't have it, and that more than three-fourths of the people who have it are not diagnosed. Um, you may want to go with terracotta tiles. Yeah, right? All artsy people I know are quirky and scatterbrained, so don't feel bad. Lots of it is the reason to love you. Aww. Well, you guys are very kind and patient with me. I really appreciate that. But it made, um, it made school pretty difficult, because I do have a, a really hard time focusing. 
Um, but it's mostly, like, I can focus on crafty stuff all day long. But it's just, I don't know, I've got like five things pulling me in different directions right now. Like, I'm kind of hungry, I might need to go to the bathroom, but I'm not certain yet. Um, and then it's like, crafting and talking and ideas... Because in my defense, I'm having conversations with like 30 different friends right now. So, here on uh, YouTube, so. Can't be too hard on ourselves. Yeah, I can focus on crafts, but I have a hard time focusing with like other things. Ooh, okay. I'll be sure to let you know, Sherry. Mm-hmm. Um, a convention. Uh, Excited Mark so. Sub does not exist. Okay, so between all the hot glue strings and all the resin globs, I'm sticky. <laughs> I'm sticky and stringy. Okay, only two more sides to go. I think I'm actually going to pull on some gloves to do this next one. So I'll be right back while I get some gloves, y'all. so good, Randy. Like my Facebook page and share pictures of your creations here. Yay! Really? For the first time in a long time. Uh, words, ouch. Um, Nightbot's actually doing what it's supposed to do, not just kicking my friends out. <laughs> yeah. When all else fails, just gloves. What's up? Actually, I have one set up for me. Yeah. 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 Do you like that? Yeah. Because I like you. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I have no idea hmm? Going much quicker than the clay rope roof, right? <laughs> that is for sure. Do you have mine set up to render on? I thought so. Randy. I thought it was excited, Randy. Okay, probably excited, Randy. We'll see. Whenever it says this doesn't work. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so I've been doing a lot of foam smithing lately, and um. <laughs> That's hilarious. Derpy said, I just searched hand crossed over each other for a reference picture and crossed bare feet popped up. Google, you had one job. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> but I've been doing a lot of uh, smoke foam smithing lately, and I really feel like it's up to my leather working game. Like, um, Thursday we're going to be doing another live stream, uh, probably another fairy house, or maybe just a q and I'm not sure yet. Um, we will see. Um, Where'd you get the base to the house? Um, Hobby Lobby is where I got the base to the house. Uh, it was they were it was on sale like fifty percent off their woodworking, um, and so I got it for like three fifty, which I feel like was super reasonable. Smoking is bad, okay? It is. And I'm just gonna go ahead while I'm in here. Mm-hmm. What? I don't, know. Who's Tom? I don't know. What'd you say, Tom? Bye, April. Show your mom and dad. That was the last thing he said. Um no. show your mom and no. <laughs> well first off, my dad is dead. Um and my mom's in Michigan, so no. <laughs> So be warned, whoever wins this, that the roof might be a bit sticky still. <laughs> yeah, I really like these... Hmm? 
No, no, that's my boyfriend. Um, okay. Good job, Randy. So who's talking <laughs> off camera then, crazy lady? Yeah, I didn't hear any voices. No. You can hear my dad? No. Uh, I hate it when I search something, spell it in a unique way, and Google automatically shows. So torts instead of, oh, no, Google, what I wanted. <laughs> Your boyfriend sounds about 50. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, well, you know, it happens when you're dead inside. <laughs> you're not dead inside. Just mostly. Just mostly. <laughs> How does somebody sound 50? I turned that off. Hmm? I should have turned that off. What's that? <laughs> And uh, th that's not actually me commenting. That's Randy commenting as me. No, no, it's you. We know it's it's you. me, really. It's you. Yeah. Wow, but my hands uh, are right here. How exists. could I be typing? I'm very impressed. If you're a figment of my imagination, just saying, Randy. Well, I am most impressive. You are most impressive. Misty. Not a thing at all. Fifty is a luxury not all of us can afford. Magic Vaughn. <laughs> Magic Vaughn. <laughs> Love your yellow crown, Vaughn. Oh, I'm glad you like it. It's actually, it's um, a custom piece for a client. Okay, it's just Randy. And um, she bought the rest of my Wonder Woman scale mail, like, gladiator outfit. And she's like, you know, I really would like the greaves and the bracers that go along with this. And she was so patient and kind um, during the convention that I just threw in a crown as well. Um, she was incredibly patient. She was incredibly patient. Because there was another woman there who was just being purely, just straight obnoxious, really. Um, like, and I didn't, I've never had somebody be that rude. Um, so I didn't quite know how to handle it. Um, so, like, she was actually throwing off two other customers. Like, swooping in and trying on what they were trying to try on and, you know, all sorts of stuff. So, um, but this client just waited very patiently through all of it, um, so that she could talk to me. So I just, uh, yeah, I didn't mind at all giving her a $40 headdress for free. <laughs> I think you're just in here to be rude and trolly, so I'm going to block you ways. <laughs> Randy got botted? I got botted? That's what Mikio says. How did I get botted? I have no idea. I'm not even in there. <laughs> right? <laughs> Uh-oh. I might have gotten pine resin all over your phone. What? I'm sorry. I just I have grubby fingers. <laughs> A-Z-M-Y-T-H? I can't wait for Azmuth to move in. It's going to be amazing. Should be two more things there. <laughs> okay. So is the stream spinning oh, again. Bottled. Oh, no. Not bottled. What's bottled? Oh, wow. okay. <laughs> hmm. oh, Tom. But yeah, look at that resin. I'm going to save this chunk. I'm gonna go light it on fire. Do you guys wanna see what it looks like on fire? Where are my tweezers at? Mm, fixed estimates. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to go find something. There's not a big booger, I promise. It's a piece of um <laughs> tree resin uh, that I'm going to light on fire because I wanna smell what it smells like. How old is Asmith? Asmith is like 34, I think, 32 maybe. I'm not entirely certain. I always think he's younger than us, but he's actually older. I'm going to be 53 in a couple of weeks. Nothing wrong with that. Right on. And in, a, blah, blah, blah. Eh. in an announcer voice. <laughs> yeah. I know. Well, Azmuth takes super good care of himself, first and foremost. And he hikes like eight miles a day. This lighter's all gunky. My Facebook page. I can't get my lighter to turn. Your lighter? Ah, there it goes. Pitch resin. Why? Because I want to see if it's flammable, but I can't get my lighter to work. Here's another one. 
<laughs> of course it's live. Ah! Uh, <laughs> what did you think was I didn't happen? know. I didn't know what would happen. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Wait. You were just going to sit there and let me burn the house down. Yeah, I was. Because I'm like, surely she's not. Nope, she's doing it. <laughs> well, it smells really nice. <laughs> Okay, back to work. And that's enough science for one day. Just Build and burn down the fairy house. <laughs> oh, Lara, I, fire. I forgot you were in here. You weren't supposed to witness me being bad. Witness me. <laughs> Yeah, no, we'll be fine. <laughs> I'm going to have to get a lot more pitch together. Yeah, definitely an LED candle. <laughs> Where's the cat? Where is the cat? Yeah, it's the that the cat's all like, oh, what's going on? Yeah, right, because there's something on fire. She's like, pardon me, but I have not caught my tail on fire today. Da, 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 da. If you burn down your house, I'll subscribe. No, the ones that got sent to me were nice and clean. These are the ones that we stole from the golf course. Because <laughs> we go on like super late night walks at the golf course when it's nobody's like, there. Around 11 to yeah, from like 11 to midnight we go for a walk. And uh... I filled up my pockets with pine cones on our last walk. Mm-hmm. And it would not be a live stream without a train in the distance. Mm-hmm. Without a train and a rooster hollering at everybody. Are you guys by Springfield? And um, we're closer to Joplin. Yeah, Ember's the CEO. She's very disappointed in all of us. <laughs> oh, it's there. I don't know. Well, you have to go in and look at the uh, the timestamp. Last pane of the roof. Or last panel of the roof, rather. Hey, your upload's complete. Yay! <laughs> Let's one more side. One more side. Mm-hmm. And then we get to start adding all the green stuff. Like, after the paint job, it really all starts coming together a lot faster, I feel like. Um... What is the con you're going to in Springfield, and how much are tickets? It's on Saturday, isn't it? Um, it's... That's not a convention. That's just a... Oh, no, it's, um, I'm just going and teaching a Tandy leather class. I think it's, like, $20 for the two-hour class, but all the tools and materials are provided, and you get to keep whatever you make. Um, and I'm going to be teaching how to make thermoplastic, um, skulls and stuff, like masks. Oops. Thank you so much for doing my night bot, Randy. You're the bestest. Okay, that should fix hers, but now I'm still waiting on mine. What did you have mine set to? I thought yours was the most frequent one, because you're the one who's usually in here with me. Yeah, it's set to that. Azimuth is set to 14 minutes, Lauren's set to 13, and I'm set to 9, but I haven't seen myself. Hmm. Someone really wants you to give them a shout out. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, what's their name? I don't know. I'm giving you a shout out, person who wanted a shout out. No, that one's not sticking. Yeah, I am nowhere in between. That's not the word. Ah, oh, there I am. Show some love to my better half, Big Randy. I'm like, subscribe here. Yay! I love my Randy. 
He brings me coffee. He feeds me things. He encourages me to pursue my hopes and dreams. He's very nice. <laughs> Bye, Derpy. What time uh, is that class and what's the address? I think it's at 1 in the afternoon. And it's at the Tandy Leather on Sunshine Street, right across from uh, Bass, Pro. Bass Pro Shop there in Springfield, Missouri. Is it Bass Pro? Mm-hmm. Says the person that wants Jeff. Oh my god. <laughs> if you want a shout out, you have to say something that contributes to the conversation. Like, what's your favorite craft that you like to do? Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to do the P.O. box on a. Yes, please. That'd be cool. I really like the way that that looks, though, guys. Yes. Do you want me to do an Instagram and a website as well? Yes, please. Just do it all. I know. Well, you keep asking me, and I'm like, um, yes. Because clearly I'm not going to go in and do it. So if you'll go ahead and do it for me. <laughs> no joke. Someone says building from Legos. That is theirs. Ooh. Okay. So what's now the give name? give me a shout out. <laughs> <laughs> really? Did they say that? Yes. Now give me a shout out. Is it Rhea? No. Oh. The painting built. Jacob? <laughs> shout out to Jacob. <laughs> But will the roof hold up with only hot glue? I know how brittle pine cones will be. Maybe a coat of Mod Podge. I am going to be doing a spray seal over all of this. Um, but it seems to be pretty good. So, yeah. Rhea says, no, I'm the sweet one, Vaughn. Okay, that's why I was like. It's very unlike Rhea to be like, say my name. <laughs> that actually get finished. Right? Cause it's a craft that never runs. It goes on and on, my friends. And it'll spend all your money and kill your social life. <laughs> notice me, senpai. We'll need to notice. <laughs> Twisted. <laughs> People started crafting not knowing what it was, and now continue crafting. If only just because. Jessica. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> a strangely applicable song. <laughs> There's the neighbors checking to make sure their motor still works. I have to. I, I have to tell myself that that's serving some purpose. Even though I know it's a 17-year-old boy just sitting out there revving his engine. Um. <laughs> 17, he was 12 last week. <laughs> Time flies, boogie boo. <laughs> Where's the neighbor? Oh! Hmm? <laughs> it's like Nightbot, get the neighbor. And I'm looking through chat names like, who's the neighbor? Uh, <laughs> Nightbot, get the neighbor, right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so as the hot glue finishes setting, yeah, I'd say. Yeah, no, don't do that, Nicole. So I'm pretty pleased with that. So now I'm actually going to set this off to the side real quick. And I'm going to take this cardboard. And I'm going to dump all these pine cone chips back into the box. Down these? Yeah. No. Why not? I want to show off the roof. Yeah. And I'm going to be gluing in greenery. Cool. Don't tell me how to live my life. Would cool. <laughs> you would look cool. Well, maybe. <laughs> the command worked because I typed it. I don't know if the timer works. Wait, what? Well, thank you, Dutch girl. What worked? The Randy thing. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. You can do that? Because I don't think I have it set up to just Randy. Do I have it set up? I don't know. I need to check. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, cool. 
Okay, so here we have some little moss and some little leaves and some little things. I want to start at the bottom, maybe? Or should I start at the top? I don't care. I do what I want. <laughs> okay, I must be stuck. Be back in a few. Springfield, I think it's Springfield, Illinois. Oh, no. Yeah, no. Springfield, Missouri. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, right. <clears throat> so I'm just grabbing up some different silk floral now. Okay. I like the effect of the pine cones. <laughs> but yeah, so this was a piece. Again, I got it on sale. I try my best to not pay full price, pay full price for anything. But this one, I think we did get from Michaels. Some happy little leaves, maybe. Uh huh. Lots of happy little leaves. So I'm actually gonna come through and use my wire snips to just snip this off. Boop! Right there. <laughs> at the bottom and build up. I'm so bossy, right? Because, like, these ones, I think, will be perfect for, like, climbing vines. Yes. Okay. Come here, hot glue gun. <laughs> Wait, you got sound effects? I don't know. I didn't realize I had sound effects. <laughs> So the trick here then is to try to hide the fact that I'm using hot glue. And I do this with ball points with slobber on them. Oh, that would be, I don't know. Hmm. Wouldn't this be fun if it was more of a FaceTime thing and you could see all 130 people watching you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like letting people, um, for, not to be crude, but to like pick their noses in peace and like to not have to wear pants. And it, I, I like the uh, selfless abandon that it's like there's no worrying about you don't got to impress anybody. You're, we're just hanging out crafting. Did you paint the pine cones partly white to match the house or did you just get lucky and find them that way? No, I just got super lucky. That's actually the pitch that's on them. Um, giving them that little white there on the tip. Oh, that's cool, Melissa. What's that? She's like, I'm watching you on the shitter. Well, that's great. <laughs> she said, not me. <laughs> but yeah, just that little bit of greenery. And so, while this whole stick, even if you'd paid full price, was like eight bucks. I don't watch on the shitter just to be... I do. That's like, when my friend Lauren is live streaming, I'm like, <laughs> guess who's gotta go make potty? <laughs> so... <laughs> Don't tell her I said that, though. <laughs> I don't want her to know that. But, I mean, really, though, that's sometimes that's the only free time a person gets in their day. Let's see, I'm just coming in and... Sneep, snoop. I'm so excited for this house. Right on. <laughs> Me, too. Isn't she here? Is she here? Is Lauren in here? I didn't see her say hey or anything. In Lauren's stream, you always pop in, right, Lauren? Uh-huh. Well, not necessarily. Sometimes I do, and everyone says, Hey, Lauren! Yeah, Randy gets real upset when that happens. <laughs> I'm taking a phone. He's like, nobody went to Randy in the box. Right. But yeah, and then, like, little ones like this one. I mean, I got it 50% off, so, like, for a dollar, I got four or five sprigs with flowers, and you can disassemble the little plasticky florals. <laughs> Uh, this is why you are live. I forget what I wanted to ask you. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, the website one doesn't work. Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, exclamation point coffee. <laughs> so much, Debbie. Okay. Have you ever gone to the Dollar Tree for your stuff? I haven't made a trip to the Dollar Tree in a really long time. I actually try to actually avoid going into stores because then I spend money. Um, Dollar Tree is good for greenery. Right on. I know, right? This is, I mean... I think, and the, I didn't post yesterday's video about Patreon to try to garner sympathy because I've made this mess for myself. If I'm not making a profit, it's my own fault, but I am pretty transparent about what's going on in our business. So we've had a huge influx of just really overwhelming generosity um, from not just our patrons, but our folks here on YouTube and stuff too. So what's weird, Kate? <laughs> right, Kristen? <laughs> <laughs> Lots of stuff, Kate. Lots of stuff is weird. There's a good weird and a bad weird. And it's good to know. See, the he different said garden ones. videos, but Asmuth has specifically said he doesn't like gardens. Well, but he's outside in nature. But and it's... whenever he's here, I'm dragging his happy butt out into my garden and making him make videos about pretty fleurs and burbs and... <laughs> All the things that he's so good at. Yeah, it's a little fairy, like, pagoda gazebo thing. <laughs> Box says sausage, but looks like ham. That is weird. <laughs> yeah, you only did that once. Mm-hmm. Maybe twice. Yeah, some of Avs' material is a little bit more graphic. Um, but, I mean, life costs life. Mm hmm. And I think he goes about it very tastefully. Um, and as someone of Native American descent, Azmuth has a lot, you know you know, going into it too, you know, so it's it's not just something that he does, it's also part of his ancestry you know, his heritage, um, and so I would not normally promote someone's channel unless I believed in what they're doing, and I think Asmuth does a great job over there on his channel, what with educating and everything. <laughs> oh, thanks, Pat. Right on. I think this one's just a little overpowering for, only need, like, a more. touch of it. Do it, Randy? I think there's just one more timer I'm waiting on. Oh, right on. So I'm just going to come in and I'm kind of trimming this back. To make it a little bit more size appropriate. Oh my gosh. Hmm. I don't know. This is what she said. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And now to add a little bit of something extra to this one too, let me get, I'll be right back. I need to rummage. <laughs> well, I hope you get to feeling better, Crystal. Where on earth did I put that bag of crystals? Oh, my old bones. I'm gonna have to stretch my hip flexors. That is a chilly breeze coming in from outside. Uh, what part of Native American is uh, Asma? Um, I'm not 100% certain what tribe and area his ancestors descended from. Um, I'm just trying to find... I'm so happy I get to sleep in tomorrow, so take all the time you need, huh? Well, crap. 
Well, I had a whole bag of crystals. Put them. Duh. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, clearly. <laughs> Jeez, buy a book or Google it. Do what? I don't know. Brain fart, right? Eighteen, trying to learn more about the culture. Can I ask what culture is from? Do you know? No, Nicole, I'm not sure. But you could always ask Azmuth yourself, right? And that's what I was trying to go for, is I really liked this kind of purpley wisteria, and now I've got all these little bits that I can add in. Well, okay, so I'm going to pull from my personal rock collection then. What? Yeah. <laughs> Just trying to find which stones. Do it, Randy. It's an Instagram works. Excellent. Which I think was the last one I was waiting on. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. We've got Patreon working, Facebook mm -hmm. working, YouTube working, me working, PO Box working? Yeah, PO Box is working, Lauren's working. Instagram so I've got this cute little geode. Okay, cool. I think I'm done. Thank you, baby. And I was going to kind of just want me to glue. figure out how to, like, box people. How do you mean? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, spam protection. Uh-oh. I just got an email from Gurney's saying 50% off on Daylilies. Oh, if only you had money for that. Ugh. Yeah, really. <laughs> So I'm kind of just completing like a little corner at a time. No, I think they're good. And I love this moss for coming in and uh, covering up all of my hot glue. <laughs> I think hidden thicket. Yeah. Small for azimuth. Oh, yeah. Um, his channel name is Hidden Thicket. Here on YouTube. What you okie a dokie in, Randy? I guess I should uh, do one for Asma Thunder. Uh, Asma, I'm just sitting and picking. Mm. Okay, so now I've got another sprig. And that's something that Randy and I went through, and we did a pretty massive, like a $70 <laughs> purchase of um, a lot of different silk floral stuff. And I keep saying silk floral, but all of it is very plasticky. Wait a minute. And so that way we can actually like wash it. It'll glaze well. It's going to be a lot easier to like dust. Is everything okay? I wish my garden could yeah, be this nice. You can totally just accept my mark as Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hmm. I'm making sound effects again. Well, yeah. Well, it's... I just loaded my glue gun. I gotta... Mm -hmm. Oh, that wind is going outside. Okay, okay. I'm logging out. Alrighty. Well, thank you for all your help, Randy. Do you have any of my tweezers over there? No, uh, here they are. Fact, I oh boy. Here. I absolutely love these tweezers. They are perfect for grabbing on to stuff because you have to press them to open them, not press them to close them. So they're great for like staying holding on to something without any additional effort. Oh, those are neat. I know. I found them when I was rearranging the craft room. Mm. Right? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, a ticket. I wonder if I won. Oh, that'd be that'd be awesome. Wouldn't it? I'd send out loot crates to everybody every month. <laughs> okay. Oh, is it? It's Arkansas. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Arkansas. Isn't oh. <laughs> Okay, so mistaking it for Bigfoot, but again, I'm so sorry. <laughs> what? My grandmother married a Finnish man, so I'm not one hundred percent right on. Oh, Christy says she's got these tweezers too. Welcome back, Kirsten. Kristen. 
I need to start my garden back up, but I'm waiting for it to cool down. Right on. Yeah, it's, I kind of want to put in some, uh, Dude, some fall crops, <laughs> but I'm a little late on, um, getting the, getting the seeds planted for the fall crops. Did you know you could buy lottery tickets in Arkansas off the, <laughs> the lottery website? No, I didn't. Yeah, they got ads popping up, it's like, you want those lottery tickets? <laughs> I'm like, no, I just want to check and see if I won. Won't win if you don't play. Come buy lottery tickets. <laughs> okay, and then a nice green little bush. Do do do. Um, Kate, I actually stopped doing seed giveaways. I ran out of seeds. Um, what? We didn't get a single number. Oh, dang it, honey! Don't play with my emotions. <laughs> he always does that. He'll be like, <gasps> and I'm like, <gasps> what? And he's like, nothing. And I'm like, ah, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's kind of fun to just get to add the little silk floral and stuff but yeah so that's what one side looks like without any silk floral yeah if I do them again we'll be starting them up in the spring again and then that's what another side looks like found my tweezers found my tweezers found my tweezers just now just now I found my tweezers, found my tweezers, just now. But I had lost them. Ooh, a rock garden pond on one side would be super cool. But I'm not going to be expanding the base at all. So I was just going to leave it kind of as is just kind of doing a bordered garden but this is definitely something that you could come through and like add in and build up and <laughs> yeah found a peanut sorry <laughs> that was one of my favorite songs like as a kid mom would sing it to us Excellent, honey. Thank you so much for doing all that. You got a pleasure. Ooh, really? Well, that's very generous of them. Ugh. I'm the same. Teeny t Oh, that would be so cool. Yeah, I'm going to put a little fake candle on the inside. <laughs> Rhea. What? She said, nuts. I thought you really found a peanut. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> what a day! <laughs> what a day! Why not Vonberg? Oh, I'm glad I can still make awesome. you laugh. Squish. Squish, squish, I'm not taking a bow. Do, 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 do. Hmm, I need to see if I have any other little flowers I can use. Then this is another one of my favorite ones. These little succulents. Hey, Mary. <laughs> but I just come in, snip them off. Sometimes they get like fused to each other and that's okay. So I'll use a different one. But yeah, when they get too fused, I just pull them apart. But one whole plant <laughs> makes a nice cute little little succulent. And now I've got found a peanut stuck in my head. Uh. Found a peanut, found a peanut, found a peanut just now. Just now I found a peanut. 
Found a bean nut just now. Cracked it open, cracked it open, cracked it open just now. Just now. Cracked it open, cracked it open just now. I still have the This is the Craft That Never Ends by Melissa. <laughs> It was rotten, it was rotten, it was rotten just now. Just now, it was rotten, it was rotten just now. Ate it anyways, ate it anyways, ate it anyways just now. Jesus Christ, I think this song shaped me as a person. <laughs> just now, I ate it anyways, ate it anyways just now. Made me sick, made me sick, made me sick just now. Just now it made me sick, made me sick just now. Went to the doctor, went to the doctor, went to the doctor just now. Just now I went to the doctor, went to the doctor just now. Gave me medicine. <laughs> Gave me. This song is kind of redundant, but I'm I'm here for the long haul. Um. <laughs> Gave me medicine. Gave me. <laughs> seems fatal. Seems. Fatal. No, that's not one of the lines, but that's funny. <laughs> Gave me medicine just now. Just now he gave me medicine. Gave me medicine just now. Died anyways, died anyways, died anyways just now. Just now I died anyways, died anyways just now. Went to heaven, went to heaven, went to heaven just now. Just now I went to heaven, went to heaven just now. <laughs> Kicked me out, kicked me out, kicked me out just now. Just now they kicked me out, kicked me out just now. Went the other way, went the other way, went the other way just now. Just now I went the other way, went the other way just now. Got crowned as their ruler, crowned as their ruler. <laughs> I don't really know the song Crowned after that. <laughs> crowned as the ruler just now. Just now got crowned as their ruler. Crowned as the ruler just now. <laughs> yeah, a lot of children's songs are pretty... Oh, it's Kicked the Devil is the next line. <laughs> and then got crowned as the ruler. <laughs> well, that makes sense. <laughs> Oh, well, that was a fun little trip down memory lane. Yeah, you know, like that one time I took over. <laughs> Move over, Satan! <laughs> Do what? What do you mean that was a book? That was totally. A book. Oh, then it's back to earth. <laughs> We're back to earth. Back to earth. <laughs> I don't remember that song. <laughs> So here's ruled another little stem. Ruled mercilessly. <laughs> ruled mercilessly just now. Right? Just now I ruled mercilessly. <laughs> Probably shouldn't sing songs about taking over hell. <laughs> Probably not. Um, I think it's just found a peanut, uh, Alex. <laughs> and then you find another peanut and you give it to your brother. Oh no! <laughs> Ah, oh, bye, Joanne. I'm glad to share the laughs with you. You're like, uh, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Start talking about peanuts. <laughs> yep. But yeah, like, check out this one. This whole flat was, uh, well, it says it was $20, but we got it for half off. We know that. And then we had an additional, um, like, 20% off your purchase coupon. So we, including sale item price, uh, sale items. So I was pretty pleased with that. Uh 
And I don't mind kind of just picking some pieces off and trying them on. This one's a little too bold. Oh, um, I'm going to do some more ivy, though. I really like the ivies. You like the ivy training? Mm-hmm. What about the Eevees? No. <laughs> oh, how sad for Eevee. Mm -hmm. Hey Vaughn, when do you think our Patreon shipments will be arriving? I just signed up for mine last month. Um, they're out on the porch for the mailman to pick up today. You should be re receiving them before this coming Monday. I think that's a pretty fair... Estimate? Yep, still on the porch. See, at this point we could have just gone up to the post office. I know, but that one lady's always there and she's super grumpy. Well, and maybe we should make her do her job. No, I don't like dealing with grumpy people. And she's like, has the worst case of chronic grumps I've ever encountered. <clears throat> Are you talking about my friend? Yeah, the, the special friend. Mm. She's there? Sometimes. That one time you went and she was yeah. yelling at you like, what's in the box? Yeah. <laughs> I've got to find that bag of crystals. There was one specifically that... Is that bag of crystals you bought at the last show? Yes. going to cost like an arm and a leg? Yeah. Um, the, Anne asks, what are you doing with the ball tool and glue? I'm placing the hot glue and then I kind of stick the little stem into it and then I get some slobber on it. You could use water, but I'm a barbarian. Um, and then I use it to kind of shape the glue up and around the stem. Um, <laughs> hey Heather, I'm glad you like my videos. <laughs> you leave the door open for the dog, right? Where you put them. <laughs> okay. But yeah, because I really like this side. You know, I feel like that's a... I need to put in a little bit of something there. Bring a backpack for that's their job, and they really shouldn't make people feel bad about going there. Right? Uh, yesterday was Columbus Day. Today's Tuesday. Cat. But thanks, though. Yeah, that was our problem. We thought they were going to ship yesterday. But, uh, no. Yesterday was Columbus Day, so no such luck on that front. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, I'm flipping this around, maybe. Oh, uh, well, thanks, Dad. She's not really. <laughs> Pick your rug rat up from school. Okay, so somewhere in this craft room is a bag full of quartz crystals. Are you sure it's not in the kitchen? Why would it be in the kitchen? Yeah, I just wanted you to second guess your life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, if I were me, which I am, what on earth would I have done with that thing? Ah! <laughs> I know that sitting here looking aimlessly at all my piles of stuff isn't going to help. Uh, well, that's the goal, Pat. <laughs> go look in the kitchen. Actually, I need to go to the bathroom. So, if y'all want to stare at the back of Randy's head, Randy's busy playing this game. But, yes, so this is the craft room. I will give you an update when I get back, but I must go make potty. Ouch. I've got a pine cone in my shoe. Oh, no, I missed. Ow. Oh, I missed. Oh. And I missed. And I missed. And I missed. And I missed again. Fired and I missed. Well, I guess I'll just end this match. Oh, that went way better than I thought it would. Oh, that's my pot. Um. I can't read from back here. Hello. I wouldn't buy that if I was a penny. Well, okay then.
<laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. I am from Germany, Debbie. Cool. Hello. There's really no idea where those quartz crystals are. ESO. What's ESO? I'm hungry. I thought you weren't. Oh, there's so much happening. Okay, what's this? Yeah, so not sure what that is. I thought you weren't using your downstairs bathroom for all the steps. Yeah, I thought you weren't using the downstairs bathroom. Elder Scrolls. No, I haven't. I think Parawire is an American company. Love the t shirt. Thank you. Uh, this is a very special t shirt that they don't sell on their website, but this is the World of Strange logo, as well as their website at the bottom. They have really cool shirts. Awesome. Your chair needs some WD-40. Yeah, but then it'll be all quiet. And she'll make me wear a bell. <laughs> In the UK, so I have some problems I finding find similar. Yeah. You still can't find them? Huh? You still can't find them? No, I'm looking in the cooler. Why would they be in the cooler? Are they? Okay, they were in the cooler. There you go. They were at Phoenix uh, Comic Con. Have you thought of a tabletop simulator? Yeah, they were in the cooler with the peanut um, butter and the. <laughs> Don't you judge me. Whatever, lady. Uh, no, I haven't thought of a tabletop simulator. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> Ron just wanted to have a party in the cooler. Yep. Sounds like something I'd do. Oh, what you eating? Hmm? The yogurt you bought me, oh. which is very good. I like this one way better than the cheesecake one. Right. And crackers. <laughs> I know I'm covered in it. And this sticky pokey. I was hungry, guys. Sorry. Those bees would just buzz around, and if they could walk, they'd be like, hey, friend! <laughs> kind. That's not completely inaccurate. What's that? That'd be like one of those bees that's just flying around and be like, hey, friend! Like a Sam dog, basically. basically. Oh, Sam. Mm. Frodo. Oh, Frodo. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Lunch break. Definitely. What happened to your steps? I'm wearing my pedometer. I'm wearing Randy's sweatpants, so it kept oh. getting reset. Oh, whatever. Blame it on my. Blame yeah. It on no, my sweat. it doesn't happen when I wear my leggings. Well, maybe you should wear your leggings. My leggings don't keep me warm the way your pants do. Anyways, um, so I'm only at like 397 steps, but I was at like almost a thousand whenever I, I did my morning chores, so I'm just wearing it in my pocket so it stops resetting. But I've been averaging on the days that we don't go on walks, I get 4,000 steps. On the days that we do go on walks, I get 8,000, but I still have not hit my 10,000 step goal yet. <laughs> Which, if I'm going to go walk in with my friend Lara, um, and by walking I mean backpacking, I want to get to where I can do like 30,000 steps in a day because Laura's like, we, we'll do like 10 miles in a day. And I'm like, that's a lot. That's like five times how much I normally walk, which is not very much. <laughs> how do I not have any skins for my Mm-hmm. And that's, I figure, and this is science, Laura. You can't manage what you don't measure. So I'm like, I need to, um, but we have all day to do it. That's fair. Oh, I was about to eat one of these. But no, I went and, here's one of them. <laughs> They're super yummy and gluten-free, which... I usually don't worry about that, but they were super yummy. I, I think those are the kind that I had with Lara. This is one of the crystals that I got. You still think about the distance, right? Well, it's I think that's why my uh, hip flexors are so sore, is we've been walking at the golf course, and there's a lot of up and down hill. Now, granted, it's still paved, but... um. 
It's like, geez, Vaughn, you're out of shape. <laughs> but yeah, so this is one of the quartz crystals, and I really love the clustering on this side. Like, check it with all those little clusters and stuff. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> and so that's going to go on the fairy house. Because a lot of these I got for just wire wrapping. Like, check that one out. And these are like five bucks a piece, but they're really they're really good. And the lady, it was, she was across from us at SpaCon. And I don't know if they were having a particularly good weekend or not. Here's the one. <clears throat> this was the one in particular that I was thinking of. See how it's kind of a weird, like not exactly perfect for a pendant, but perfect for being up against the railing of a fairy house or something. <laughs> one day in St. Louis, I got 13,500 steps right on. <laughs> but I just like the little hedgerow. I know I love crystals and that's why on this one I wasn't going to do as much polymer clay work but I was going to put in a lot of effort with the uh, silk floral and with the uh, crystals and stuff Don't right on nose. we go late at night and I don't want to twist my ankles and then there's been, we've been under a tick warning like all year so uh, we walk the golf course track <laughs> we're having a lunch break Christina I have one side mostly done. The roof is done being shingled. And I'm just super excited about this. <laughs> and again, I'm totally jealous of whoever gets this because it's coming out really nice. Mm -hmm. She sounds awesome, surprisingly. I'm always surprised when something comes out nice. Because I'm still for like... I don't know why, but I'm still used to everything that I make being, like, kind of crappy. So. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Yeah, it's definitely that, Nicole. It's just, <laughs> I'm winking at you. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, Brooke, it's, I'm still very used to, um, my early stuff was pretty rough. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Your early stuff 10 years ago. But that was, but that's still the mindset that I'm in. Um. Okay, you guys. I have a very serious question. Gosh. Is, gosh. Is the, uh, is the night bot, um too frequent okay what did jennifer say scrolling 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 uh scrolling i don't see it i hate to ask again but you were in song and didn't see me any thought on refurbed old wood jewelry stand-up armor from the 90s was to make fairy houses from that would be so cool <laughs> oh <laughs> right on <laughs> and that's a really fair point Brooke in the, the nature of serving control I've had four crackers I get 11 more Nightbot is nice to us, the people now. Right, and that's, we were finally able to go in and, um... Wee, look at you, I made you do it. No, you didn't. I said, hey, Randy, go do Nightbot. No, you didn't. Yes, I took credit. I said, is it still not fixed? And then I went and did it. Huh. I didn't know that crackling polymer clay with a heat gun was even an option. That sounds cool. Right on. Also, I'm just saying, guys, this stuff is delicious. Whip it good. <laughs> okay. 
you have 20 chips, but like, what's a chip to them? How big does it have to be? What about crumbs that equals to one chip? And that's more often than not, I'll use, I have a food scale, um, and I'll use my food scales, um, <laughs> to measure the crumbs. But it was a freshly opened bag, so it was pretty easy to, uh, sort through and find intact chips. <laughs> Okay. Thanks, Valeria. Okay. So, I feel weird just sitting here being like, awkward eye contact while I eat my food. I'm not weird. Um. <laughs> But, um, I'm going to flip the camera around and start gluing stuff on this fairy house again. <laughs> and Tris is like, no, it's all. Okay. I'll keep, I'll keep making awkward eye contact. Oh, no, I'm dead. Where are the elder bands? Like, that's what I'm so sorry that I'm weird, you guys. <laughs> you encourage this behavior, though. I'm like, where are my teammates? Oh, they're dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Little Moon Nightbot is, like, an automated uh, moderator. That, that can pop up and abilities. yeah we took away all of its moderating abilities but we have it to where it'll post links for me because I can't really type on the phone and that way I don't have to rely on anyone else to be like hey what's our PO box what's my website what's my you know that sounds so good Christy you can just type <laughs> excitement mark mail Hmm? You heard me. Hmm. No, I didn't. These chips are really crunchy. <laughs> so I can't hear anything. I do. I need like two arms to feed me. Two arms to work. And the darkness find them. <laughs> <laughs> Boo doo 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 doo. Hmm. <laughs> Night bot. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Pat. Right? Don't encourage this kind of behavior. Do what? I said, don't encourage this kind of behavior. Uh oh. These are super good, though. Oh, they cut it with gelatin. Well, there's your secret. Well, for as much as I hate Jello, this is really good, though. There's nitrogen in it. I wonder what that's good for. Plants need nitrogen. It's what plants crave. Electrolytes. It's what bonds crave. Mm hmm Jennifer asks, Vaughn, has your chicken started to lay eggs again? They have. Um, we actually, oh, the other day I harvested, they, they, like, they've been laying almost one, in eight, one, one egg per chicken a day. Which I'm like, yes. Which I haven't changed anything. It just, the temperature went down, so. Okay, last bite, and then I get to get to work. Yeah. Last one, swear to God. Last one, swear to God. Mmm. <laughs> Brooke says, Vaughn, so when I bake my clay when it's still warm, is it flexible? Can I move it back? And fourth, do I need to bake it longer? Or is that how it's supposed to be? That's how mine always comes out. If you let it cool down, it becomes a lot less flexible. So. <laughs> okay. Lunch break over. Back to work. Batman. 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 Okay. Yeah, it was super hot and dry for a long time. Hey, Samantha. Oh, thank you, Mikio. Thank you. It's actually, um, 
just silk floral and um right on well i tried my best to keep you company rachel the actual pine cones like i let nature and whoever makes the silk floral do all of the work mm-hmm Man, I just can't combat Hebo. He's just a cannon. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You're a cannon. Well, I mean, I'm trying, but... I don't think I'm going to use this one with this house. Oh, no. Can you guys hear me crunch? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> well, it's because you're, like, up on the phone going... Sorry, I really did come in like right here and just like, ow. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, guys. No, you're not. Yeah. Gosh, it makes me super self conscious, though. Can you all hear me like heavy breathe like into the microphone? Only all the time. Really? Yep. Are you serious? No, I'm not listening to you. I'm playing. Jeez, Randy, <laughs> you're making me insecure. You made me ink. I wish I could just blow this up into like life size <laughs> with some crunching among friends, right? <laughs> okay. And so now let's see what we've got. Surely I have something. Shirley. Shirley, so. Census, don't call me Shirley. <laughs> Stop calling me Shirley. Okay. Well, here I have some raw amethyst that I think might be really good and might blend in with the, the kind of wisteria oh. vibes we're throwing around. Oh. Dang it. I tried to get maximum distance. There we are. I'm gonna make an opposite honey. I shrunk the kids' machine so I can make really cool little things and then make the big right. Well, technically, at the end of it, um, they just made the, put the sheet machine in reverse and had the giant Thanksgiving yeah. turkey and the giant dog bone. That's cool. Oh. I remember. You remember? Um, Nicole, Nicole says, I know that normally you're absolutely not supposed to use fingernail polish on polymer clay, but I've been doing some sculpting for several years, only doing it in earnest recently. Um, this was in their woodworking section. Um, it was just like a little gazebo, like bird feeder thing. Mm, silk foliage I get from Michael's. <laughs> no, what? How? <laughs> Um, I use nail polish on polymer clay pretty frequently. Like, I actually... I call hack. Oh, that's how. Hadn't heard to not use it. Game's What's going life. on, baby? I'm going to base attack you for 2,100 points. Even though you only have 2,150. Oh. Like, that's not a crit. That's just a base attack. So, officially made see. that point in the game. Okay, and I'm going through and just kind of picking around in my scrap bits of moss that have just been hanging out. Celebrate. Oh yeah, alright. Got the dancing. One more no. time. How much did you hit? <laughs> hey Sherry, I'm glad you caught us. Mmm, that's a really good idea, Nicole. Because, yeah, I've been using clear nail polish to seal my acrylic paint, or my uh, polymer clay pieces for quite a while. One more time. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, we're going to celebrate. Sorry, I don't mean to get my hands in the way of what's going on, but I've got to fit the stuff in there. So, yeah, it's this is just how I want my life to be, is this cute little fairy houses. Um. Randy! Oh, 
I love you. Love you too. Randy. Randy. Hmm. Are you just rolling your chair around? No, I'm pushing my desk back. Uh huh. Just in turn pushing me back. <laughs> what on earth are you doing over there? Well, every time I try to scoot closer, it pulls my desk further towards me. Mm -hmm. Because the road, road is not mm -hmm. there anymore. Ain't like this, Tony. Look, I'll have to explain myself to you, okay? It's hard. One more time. I don't know. We haven't heard from Pam yet. One more time. Oh, a cracker. You mean you gotta put actual clothes on? Hmm? You mean you gotta put actual clothes on? Um, no. I'm living my life in sweatpants today. I'm glad hot glue is so awesome. Bye, Kate. Hey, Samantha. The craft room rearrange went really well. Ooh, I have not used a polyfast sander. Um, This one's actually going to be for in November. It's the big one for the beginning of uh, November. Do you call those stones? Are you using gemstones or crystals? These are, um, well... Whenever I call something a crystal, it's because it formed into a natural crystal point. Um, but, like, so this is quartz, so it's a crystal and a gemstone. But it's, I don't know, kind of loose trade terms. But, yeah, these are actual amethyst, a real gemstone, and then actual quartz clusters. One more time. What's up, baby? Curious. Was that it? As you walk with Mercury, mm -hmm. your passive charges. Oh. However, if you jump with Mercury mm -hmm. as you walk, you still travel forward, but your passive does not charge. Hmm. If you're jumping? No. Huh. Very curious. Indeed. Oh my gosh, y'all, I've been watching Star Trek Voyager, and Seven of Nine just came on, so, like, it's way better. Seven of Nine's probably my favorite. Yeah, but they have to get rid of Kev's. Doggy wants attention. Oh, right on. Yeah. Uh, hey, Pauline, thank you. If I send you a few D20 ties, would you do a tutorial on how to wire wrap them? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Brooke says, Vaughn, there was some joke you were supposed to tell at the end of last stream, but you said that the next time you live streamed, you'd tell us something about a goose joke. Oh, um, yeah. And it was, <laughs> uh, well, it was, it's not a very good joke. Just keep that in mind. And the joke I'm is, out of it now. yeah, there's no backing out of it now. Um, the joke was that uh, why whenever geese fly in formation, it is one side longer than the other? And then you're supposed to say, why is that? And it's like, because there's more geese on one side. <laughs> but I tried to tell that to my friend Asmuth um, while we were walking. And I had just taken a shot of something that he had given me. Of, I don't know. It was yummy. And I drank it. Um, and so it basically came out like that meme where it's the kid who's like, do you ever have a dream? where?" And then the one time that... And then the thing... But then you wanted so bad, and then that you could, like, do y'all know which one I'm talking about? <laughs> it's worth looking up. Do what? It? It's worth looking it's, up. It's worth looking up, for sure. But uh, it, it came out basically just straight gibberish. And uh, as was like, the joke isn't funny, but the way that you told it is. And I was like, well, thank you. You know, tipsy and all that. Have you ever had a dream that, that you, um, you had... You 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything. So that's how I told the joke was just stumbling over myself, um, being like, <laughs> it was fun. 
I had a lot of fun. Why are there so many geese at, like, when the, and, <laughs> and, and geese and... It's, again, I guess you would have had to have been there, but we were having a very good time that evening. Ooh. This is a nice one. I really like this moss. <laughs> What happened? I died. And why you do that for? Well, not like I was like, today is a good day to Is die. there a cat outside? Probably. Sounds like it. I'll be right back, everybody. You don't need no cat. No, I gotta check on it. You don't. Oh, can I just touch it? No. Please? You were live streaming. I am live streaming. If you touch that cat, you're gonna stay out there for hours. Leave that cat alone. No, I'm bringing the camera with me. You can't stop me. Kitty. Sorry, there's a cat out here. Hello? Hello? Hey, little kitten. Go get it. I'll be right back. Do you hear that purr? Hey, little thing. Do you have a home? Grab her some food. <laughs> I know Randy won't let me keep her. I'll get you some food, kitten. She's following along with me. <laughs> and it's a little calico. A beast after my own heart. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get her some food. Okay. Uh, you can't come in the house though. Randy will skin me alive. Okay. So I'm going to leave the phone right here. I'll be right back, guys. Because I'm going to give her some food. She's way too skinny. Like, is it okay if I just put a bit of food out? Well, I have an old park food.
Okay, guys, I'm back. Stole my heart just like that. Oh, but I gave her a pile of food as big as she is. Um. <laughs> right? If I sit on your porch and meow, will you bring me food too? Right? My kitties go out, don't go out because of that reason. Mm hmm. Right? Well, see, that's the thing is that we can't we can't have another cat. Azimuth is moving in. He's bringing his two, so we'll have three cats in the house. Um, and so, but it's um, I know he kind of let me keep Mila a bit, and but that she was the neighbor's cat too, though. Um, right? So okay, <sighs> kittens though. I'll keep you guys posted. So, about however it progresses, because I'm probably just stealing the neighbor's cat again. Um, like, honest to goodness. Um, and I really need to stop doing that. Um, but we do have a little tote that we can put out there lined with insulation and blankets and stuff. Do I need to shut the windows? No. I know. Sam wants a kitten. <laughs> oh, I can't even think. Um. Oh. But yeah, if it does get chilly, because I mean, we'll introduce her to the chickens if she's an outdoor cat, and it'll be okay. Thanks, Samantha. I saw that. I really appreciate your support. Shipments for next month will go out on the uh, you know, beginning of November. Oh, my heart hurts. <laughs> it's like pow right in the feels. Sorry, that was completely unexpected, but it's like, <laughs> yeah, I just put a blanket out there. Yeah, she did seem super hungry. And she's quite thin. Like, I don't know, I feel like a kitten should be fat. Um, like, not like, you know, unhealthily so, but they're baby animals. They need to be fed, you know, uh, for more, almost an unlimited supply, like however much they feel inclined to eat. Um, you know, to keep up with their growth. I know that that's the way I feed my rabbits, is just free pellets. Like, as much as they can eat all day. Um you know, on top of the fodder and stuff that I give them. So. And it's such a busy street here that it's like, um, you know, mom's cat, Miss Kitty, had gotten hit by a car just out, you know, because I mean, it's that busy road right there. I just got my pony beads, the pumpkins, witches, and bats. I bought them from Amazon. I just read them the other day. Right on! <laughs> the kitten's out on the porch eating some food. Hi, Miguel. Sorry, Vaughn, I had to leave for a minute. Did you say whether your Wonder Woman is for sale? Um, the circlet that I made, um, I, I was thinking about posting it, uh, like making a couple more and posting them on my uh, Etsy. So if y'all are interested in that, that might definitely be something that I do. Oops, need to reload. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Miguel, I, I feel like our day is going pretty well. I just found a kitten, so Randy's probably quietly seething <laughs> that I went and fed her. <laughs> well, you know we have a mouse problem outside. Sam, don't bark at the... Hey. Bark, bark, goes the doggy dog. My mom had two brother cats and she was little one, got hit by a car, but lived. And ever since that, both him and his brother would sit on the edge of the road and look both ways before crossing, right? 
right? No, I don't know. I think the two feet long ones are too long, but these little five inch longs are definitely too short. So that's another side that I'm pretty pleased with. So now we just have the one more side. Boom, boom, boom. He says, I'm a dog. What's the matter with your brother? Did there's a precious little kitten outside? All you want to do is love it. You love it with your teeth. Oh. <laughs> now, Sam and Z are pretty good around baby animals. Um. Oh, come on, man. Why you got to do that? <laughs> Why you got to tell Mama she can't have kittens? <laughs> because it's not true. I know. The bitter, horrible truth. Are you going to go look at the kitten? Is there still a kitten out there? You're not kitten blind. I know you're not. You're susceptible to their cuteness. Same as anybody. I'm blind to the kitten. To the ways of the kitten. Okay, so I'm going to hurry up and get done with this fairy house. That way we can go out and cuddle with the kitten together. But don't tell Randy I said that. Boop. Another bit of nice amethyst for in the yard. <laughs> And I really like just using the tips. Well, the is staying well fed. Yeah. And he's just sitting in the middle of your kale bed like, oh, mm -hmm. this is amazing. Yeah, he's going to be fat by the end of the year. <laughs> they have a cat though. Oh, right on. You make a fairy house for Christmas. Ooh, that'd be so cool. How do you wrap that house for shipment so the plants and stuff don't fall off? Well, the hot glue actually holds them on pretty well. I know, I'm trying to hurry. They're probably like, we're gonna poop. We can't poop with a cat in the yard. <laughs> right? We spent too much time sniffling on him. A nice yeah. little eucalyptus piece. Focus, Vaughn. I know there's an adorable kitten that needs your love outside, but we gotta, we gotta do this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what size do you make your chainmail hacky sacks? <laughs> um, we make our chainmail hacky sacks out of. Calm down, puppies. I know, I'm excited too. Two scale rings. Well, yeah, we use scale rings and, well, they 16 gauge, work. 5 sixteenths. And then we also use um, primarily 16 gauge, 1 fourth inch. And we fill them with the same little airsoft BBs. And I'll tell you all what, we can actually do it. I'll do a video for you guys uh, showing you step by step how we make our hackies. How do we make our hackies? How much hacky? Sam's like, I'm allergic to kittens. <laughs> allergic to the cute. Mm -hmm. How to motivate Vaughn. Promise to send her kitties, right? I know, well, because I don't want to rush to this project, but at the same time, there's a kitten outside. Um, like, literally, on my porch. I hear you, baby critter. Okay. Ooh. Oh, there's a kitten outside. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can feel you glaring at me. Stop glaring at me. What? Why you glare at me? You know why. I know. I'm sorry I'm a bad Vaughn. I can't help it. I'm just this way. Hush, puppy. 
<laughs> this is basically the dogs are just saying what I'm feeling in my heart. <laughs> like, hur, hur. Randy, be happy that Vaughn is so loving and caring to animals. That's a good thing, since there are so many mean people in the world. That's fair. <laughs> Poor Randy. He's so jaded and sad inside. He's like, is it? Is it a good thing? Really? I'm going to be with them on this one. It could be worse. Yes. It could always be worse. It could be raining. It could be what? <laughs> it could be raining. It could be raining. Could be loading there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ember stole his heart. This one will too. Yeah. That's the thing is we'll definitely have to make sure that if she if she doesn't have a home, I am at least going to make sure that she gets fixed uh, or spayed or whatever it's called. Um, that way there's no unplanned pregnancies. The equivalent of her teenage mom living on our porch. Yeah, get her kitty tubes tied. Um, I was going to put just a little candle inside the fairy house, like a little LED candle. Oh, I hope that kitten's okay. I'm sure it's fine. Well, it's, I mean, I can just see her dead in the middle of the road. Why would you do that? Well, and not on purpose, but just, I, I'm afraid for her as well. Morbid, huh? That's very morbid, but that's what happens. To kittens that don't have anybody that loves them. Somebody goes and picks them up and puts them in the middle of the road. No, they wander their silly asses out into the street on their own, and then they get hit by a car, and then what? Then what? <laughs> then what, Randy? And then I'll feel guilty forever because I let a kitten die in front Seems of my legit. house. Do what? Seems legit. Well, yeah. Not worry, is she in the fence? Yeah, but she's small enough to just slip right through. I mean, she had to get in somehow. <laughs> yeah, she she just slid right in between the little chain links. Like, she's tiny. <sighs> you must craft faster. <laughs> Yeah, really. She needs somebody to love her now. <laughs> and to teach her manners so that she doesn't jump up on counters and be bad kitty. <laughs> you fed her. She'll stick around. Probably no need to rush. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. fair, Lara. And Randy's like, Fuck you, Lara, stop encouraging this behavior. <laughs> No, I know. I could hear it in your heart, though. In your grumpy old man heart. <laughs> I will soften your grumpy old man heart with my love. Or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now we run into the problem of this is how I'm going to tuck the moss in between the uh, shingles. Wait, look. No Just take it and then cram it up in there. And that way there'll be all sorts of cute little 
you know, things uh, poking through. Why'd you dead? Because I was standing in the tower whenever the last demon died, and I had full health. What? Yep. I have the worst luck with this stupid thing. It's like, it locks onto me, and it's like, double mode activate. <laughs> oh, really? And I'm like, but I just need, it's supposed to... <laughs> it's always nice to go back and remember, like, the first time you fell in love with your dog, or... Like, you know, picking, it's, it's like the, that meme on the internet that's like a cute little kitten, like with its little paw resting on its face, resting on its paw, going, tell me again about how you saved me from the, you know, shelter and took me to my forever home. It's like, yes, let's talk about that again. That's why I try to put slobber on the, uh, or water, just because otherwise it sticks to the ball. I <laughs> wish I was good at crafting. You get better with practice, mate. I don't want to cover up too much of the ceiling, you know, but I definitely don't want the hot glue and stuff to be obvious, you know. Yummy, yeah, honey. Zone. Auto zone. <laughs> Ever wins this house, we'll have a great recording of it being made from the burning resin to the little kitty showed up. Right? Question about the fairy house. Did you take a pine co part for the shingles or are you able to purchase the bits already separated? Um, I separated them by hand. Which was sticky and time consuming, but totally worth it. And then I'm just kind of destroying some silk floral here. And I call it silk floral, but it's just plasticky. Because these little flat plastic ones make great for in between the shingles. Hmm. Y'all, I think I'm going to take her into the backyard and show her the chickens. What if the chickens eat her? Then it wasn't meant to be. But I would rather her grow up around chickens than become a chicken eater. <laughs> you know? I guess. You know what just occurred to me? Mm. She's probably a kitten from the batch of um, the neighbors that live two houses down. Mm. Had gotten a kitten. Do you remember? She was the gray one that showed up on the porch. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I don't know if they ever got her fixed. And she would have been old enough to uh, have had a litter by now. You should sculpt a little kitty to sit on the ledge. Oh, that would be so cute. Yeah, well, definitely. I'll give it a couple of days and we'll find out whether or not, um, whether or not, you know, she actually has a home. Um... And then kind of function from there. It's okay, puppy. 
cleaning up all the little stray pieces of uh my internet just started to start bugging out real bad and it's getting late so i'm gonna go now hope kitten will be okay bye so again thanks for hanging out with us hush puppy <laughs> Soaking in Dutch means socks. See you later, socks. Which, if she has a human and they're just at school and that's why she had gotten out, she'll probably run over to be with them. You know? But still, I kind of feel like that's an awful hungry kitten for having a human. Oh goodness. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mama cat is young. She may not be doing a good job of feeding. Yeah, that's true. Well, Randy went through and um, edited through the night the night bot to get it to do what we had intended for it to do. <laughs> it's just I had tried to set it up like that, and it wasn't working. Um, but we weren't really able to test it unless we're live streaming. If that makes sense. <laughs> okay, last side of the roof, and then I get to go not play with a kitten. Cough, cough. Randy, I love you so much. Thank you for being patient with me. Mm -hmm. I twitched. <laughs> A little bit. Really? I'm not going to bring her into the house, though. Is that alright? If I just make friends with her outside? Just make friends with her outside. Okay. Randy is a fair and reasonable Randy. <laughs> Thank you, Shelly. I'm actually really pleased with how it's coming out. But I don't know, I get so excited every time I meet a kitten because it's like, hello, I get to make best friends with someone today. <laughs> and it's like, hello, best friend. And the kitten's like, hello, human. And I'm like, can we be friends? And the kitten's like, sure, has food. And I'm like, yeah. And the kitten's like, yeah, we can be friends. I don't, I don't think that's 
that's how it works. We can deal. <laughs> no, Randy, that's actually exactly how it works. Like, scene by scene, that's how I became friends with Mila. Yeah, but I don't think they go, oh, hi, human. It's probably, hi, big stupid cat. <laughs> hi, <laughs> hairless <food>. monkey. <laughs> has food, big cat? <laughs> has food, big cat? Hey, big dumb cat, has food? It's like, bork, bork, bork. Are you going to put stones, sticks, or moss around the candle you put inside the house? Possibly. Um, ooh, yeah, I think some crystals around it would be perfect. That's a really good suggestion. Don't know if that's hot glue or resin sticking to me. <laughs> These are like my favorite tweezers ever right now. Yeah, I'm a fan of Robin Hood. That's like my happy song. Whistle stop. Randy's making grunty video game noises in the back. That jerk face. Jerk face brouhaha. To ball head pins so your hand doesn't get a sword. That might be. They're, they're I mean, excellent. My first market on the weekend did well. Thanks for all your tips and tutorials, Vaughn. Wouldn't have had the confidence without you. Right on! Well, congratulations, Samantha! There's nothing quite like your first time vending. It's really cool stuff. <laughs> Especially if it goes well. Okay, so I just need to fill in a little bit down this side, and then I think we'll be good to go. There we are. So let me grab an LED candle from, do I have one in the drawer right here? That would be mighty handy. <laughs> hey, Miss Samdol. Here they are. Okay, so we have little LED candle. So let me turn this off to get a better effect. 
with the warm little glow. And let me pick out some really nice crystals. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Some smoky quartz would be nice. A nice piece of tiger's eye. And some lovely agates. So the tumbled gemstones will be sent in a uh, a little drawstring baggie. Looks like we need just a few more to keep things from shifting around. Um, yeah, they'll be sent in a nice little tum uh, drawstring baggie so that you can uh, place them and position them however you want. There we are. And fairy lights all around. Ooh, that would look cool with some little fairy lights. Yeah, that might have been the mailman just now. Like Doggos! So I think this is going to look really nice. I'm just going to clean up some of the uh, hot glue pieces. It's never too late to add in just a couple of little scrap some moss here and there. Oh, thank you guys. And you know, and I had thought about attaching a wind chime to the bottom of it, possibly on the next one that we do like this, because I'm definitely going to do more with the pre-made wooden bases. It just, it takes so much of the work out of it and just lets you get right to the fun stuff, um, you know, for lack of a better term. I mean, it's all fun, but it's more fun to not be just kind of base coating it for an hour. <laughs> The base before the sale price was like $7. And I paid, I think, three fifty dollars for it. About so, tree about tree fifty. Thank you, Randy. <laughs> no problem. Right you are, Ken. But yeah, just cleaning up some of those little hot glue strings. In my next life, I'm coming back as a fairy, and I'm living in that house. So, oh, there's little spots in here that I need to... As always, guys, the magic happens in the details, so don't ever feel like you need to rush something like this. I know I was panicking a bit trying to get out there to be with the cat, but yeah, Lara had a very valid point. It's I fed it. It'll be around. And then I, I don't hear it meowing anymore, so it might have gone to chase some kids or, you know. Maybe its kid came home. Maybe it's kid came home. <sighs> okay. And there we are. Very pleased.
So thank you guys for hanging out with me while I made that. Um, almost a four hour long live stream, um, but that's okay. I had only planned on being on for two. So again, Randy's been very patient with me, but I've got a ton of other work that I need to get to now. Um, but gosh, guys, I think that's pretty not that bad. Like, <laughs> and you can see like on the inside, I'm really glad I, I went through the time and trouble to paint and antique the inside of it. It's just fun to kind of pretend like you could go in there and just sit and just watch the firelight flicker on the ceiling. You can pretend and all day. You can pretend all day. <laughs> um, if you guys would like a chance to win this fairy house, please consider becoming a patron. All it takes is just a dollar. Do is type excitement mark patron. And you can, t for the link, you can type excited mark or exclamation point for those of you with edumacations. Um, exclamation point patrons. Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Um, and, uh, yeah, all it takes is a dollar to put your name in the hat for the giveaway. <laughs> Thanks, Lara. I'm going to be doing, this one's going to be given away, um, very beginning of November. Uh, and I will meet you all right back here on Thursday to do another live fairy sculpt. Something much smaller this time. Um, so... <laughs> Oh, I was like, who's talking like me? <laughs> so, yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything, you can leave them down in the comment area below. Um, we do have a bypass the giveaway list on our Patreon um, where you can do just a one-time pledge of 150 but you get, you get the fairy house, and it's yours. Um, right you are, Linda. Quick craft room update for those of y'all who weren't around earlier. Um... Now, of course, the second I got everything organized, I started messing it up again. Fun, are you doing Xmas themed fairy house closer to for the holidays? Bats eyes. Sure. <laughs> uh, this is my corner where I do my things like polymer clay, fairy houses, wire wrapping. But I'm really pleased to have all of my beads in one spot, all of my polymer clay, you know, organizers, organizers, organizers. <laughs> for days. This is my Randy's spot. This is my Randy. He's very good. You are. <laughs> and then here we have a nine foot long table um, with all the stuff still on it that still needs a home. Uh, so we're working on that. Um, that means we'll make another giveaway if someone buys the first house for 150 Possibly. Nobody's done it yet, so I don't know. Um, so yeah, I guess first one to pay 150 gets this house, and then I'll try to make another one for the, for the giveaway. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, I have a cat to get medicine for. What medicine? Well, if she needs her shots, and she, she probably food. has worms, and, well, yeah, well, food and medicine, Randy. Unless she's gonna be, gonna give me a house. <laughs> Can you give me a house? But no, it's, so we've got, I've got mouths to feed now. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> Good for Randy. We would be calling you Cat Lady and not Vaughn, right? Oh, I, I'm a temptress. Y'all know that. But uh, yeah, so this is... And check it. The uh, Sorry, I should have brought a tripod with me. This rotates now. Because it's on a lazy Susan. <laughs> Do you work for Hollywood? I don't work for Hollywood. Because girl, that camera is all over the place. <laughs> Randy, you're giving me a hard time. See, I have a tripod right here. I'm just not going to use it. Um, and so this is how the big window came out, and then this table is not going to live here, it's just here until we get the main table cleared off enough, but it lets me, like, lay stuff out for cutting and everything, and then more storage, we're gonna be getting another one of those racks from the living room, um, and so it's not in its final, final form because we need that door, like, to that room, um, cleared out, and that will give us the big renovation, you'll give us a ton more space. Uh, Anne asks, how are the Blue Apron meals going? They're going really well. I get another shipment tomorrow. Um, and the rest of the downstairs, uh, living room, it finally has all the tables and stuff out of it. Um, the vet does do discount it, and we see you still have, like, some totes and stuff in the kitchen that need cleaned up, and don't look at my kitchen, it's dirty. Um, but, uh, Vicky says, call around your area and see if there's a vet that does discounted vet services on feral cats. Um, and it does, it comes up to, like, 40 bucks after, like, because you have to get the rabies shots and stuff as well. So, but yeah, okay. I'm going to go, guys. I'm going to get a fresh cup of coffee and get right back to work. So, 
Thanks for hanging out and happy crafting. <laughs>